Testing, hello, welcome. Slash six eight plus B alternative air dash input. All back dashes have some amount of invulnerability. I see. First, Y W M B W B T W. Some characters have full runs. Hold six after dash. Oh, air dashes have no invincibility, okay. Only the standing back dash has invulnerability. Or maybe some characters forward dash on the ground. With J period denoting the jump states. Some weird upward forward. Uh, Archetype Earth looked like she had some unique air properties or air movement or something, like a float. Obviously, some of this stuff is not gonna translate to the new game, and I'm not gonna play Actress again, so. Can you not input, uh, seven or nine to double jump? Is high jump and super jump a different thing? Wait, you can what? Sorry. Or you can use 7 and 9 for double jump, right?
super jump is 2-9. Yeah, seven and nine. Wait, so is high jump only a only a neutral jump, and is super jump only a forward jump? Also, I'm trying to think about doing that input on like a keyboard. I almost wonder about a key that is a directional like two directions at once. Like if there's a key that was like, imagine you had WASD, but then E would be nine and Q would be seven. I don't know, just thinking about it. There's no super bad jump. I guess they make it so you have kind of more momentum heading towards the opponent and less momentum heading away with the lack of like a super back jump or something. Wait, there's E? I thought there was A through D for this game. Oh, D is shield. Okay. A, B, C, light, medium, heavy. D is shield. What is E? He is dodge, I think. Been a while. Wait, blocking and shielding, are they two different things? Does back, is backward block? Because I'm assuming shield and block are two different mechanics. E is your built-in macro. I wonder if this stuff's gonna change with the new game, the E input. The concept of E in this game seems a little bit interesting. It seems like some kind of multi-purpose macro button that is mapped to a bunch of different things. 
Would you get a fight stick to play this? I don't think so. I Downloaded think... community edition. I'm thinking of being a keyboard player, but um, I want to make sure there's not any downsides to that. <laughs> so like in this case, E is being replaced with A plus D, which I guess is the throw. So light attack plus shield is the throw input. And it looks like there's two types of throws, and an air throw. This? No, this is Melty Blood. Yet yeah, Fight Stick may need it as its SSF2 type. You should get the free not Steam version just to check the moves. I mean... I don't know. I'm just gonna be jumping into the new game. So, is there a way to change my voice on here? Um, not at the moment. Although I can manually see the problem is there's not that many voices, which is really annoying. But if you have you seen the paranormal buck breaking video? Usually, the best controller is what you are comfortable with. I might write a thing where like. Basically, there's there are two male voices and one and one female voice, and I might write a thing where like I can assign users to the female voice. I kind of already have that in my code, but it's uh, it's a little bit cumbersome, and I have to manually define some stuff, which is I think I could randomize some of the voice properties while still assigning it to the I'm female sure there voice. I'm sure GameCube controller multi players. Uh, yeah, like, the thing is, in a game, if you're playing a game where you don't need actual analog input, if you're playing a game that has binary up, down, left, right, as in you're either pressing up or you're not, have you played Breath of the Wild? Or like, Basically, a game that uses that numpad notation where you have like these discrete nine directions that can be pressed, I think in a game like that, using buttons for directions actually makes a lot of sense. Looks like all throws of four frame startup. Okay, so there's a throw break. So it's down, back, light, plus shield. I wonder if 1E gives you the same input for a throw break. Seven frame window. Let's macro special moves D. So when that says when that says one slash five a plus b plus c, does that mean one a plus b plus c or five plus a plus b plus c? Like would would one e do that input do heat? I wonder. Fight sticks are pretty comfy, honestly, and fun. I'm sure you can get just as good with keyboard though. Just seems less comfy. Well, I think the thing that's cool about the fight sticks are the buttons. Like, the way buttons are laid out on fight sticks, that all makes a lot of sense. I just think the, f the stick itself may be inferior. Like, I was watching some FGC translated videos with Daigo, and he was talking about how he switched to a hitbox style controller. And he's like, I'm glad I switched because it's superior. Because yeah, that's def arcade sticks. Like you're, if you have to move the joystick, like having a having direction mapped to a button is like, you can see how you could it, it could make it um, more optimal, your input more optimal, right?
Less travel with buttons for sure. Yeah. Alright, so they have a spot dodge. I used to play with the arrow keys, but it was a not MOE heavy character. That an, that's an air dodge, okay. Hi, Narxa. Hello. This music remember me persona. No interest in Skyward Sword HD. No. <laughs> Activating heat is kind of like a burst, right? And then it gives you access to the heat properties. Or like, can you activate heat when you're in disadvantage? Like when you're. Uh, Are you ever a fan of the three Metroid Prime games? Can you activate heat while you're you getting comboed? In Persona, I recommend you this game. Uh, I liked Metroid Prime one more than two, more than three. So I like the first one the most, but I'm not like a huge. I'm not like hugely into Metroid Prime. Yeah, not really. Does anyone know if you can activate heat while you're getting comboed as a burst? Motion plus C. Quarter circle back. You gain meter by blocking attacks, attacking, Hello, and receiving I need damage. Immediate relationship advice. What do you need advice on? Your voice is so relaxing. I like your voice. Well, thanks. Yeah, but as a weird burst, it auto activates at 200%. It auto activates? Really? Are you saying when your meter fills up to the max, it automatically goes into heat and then you lose your meter? But you could delay that by using EX moves to deplete part of your meter? I gotta say, this game has like the right vibe to me, like Melty Blood in general. I'd like to see you happy in the direct. <laughs> Do 
like what got you interested in this particular game um well they're coming out with a new one and for some reason it looked like it looked like I wanted to play it and I'm starting to become obsessed obviously and this is being becoming obsessed is usually a good sign although like if you looked recently I got obsessed with Octopath Traveler then I and then I like got really turned off at some point or like I and think the problem was I should just get the game again to remember I think Octopath right now just feels like such a large commitment like and I think also having played Dragon Quest 11s full draconian playthrough and beating the game under those conditions I think that was enough grind for me Have you heard of Grand Chase Classic? and I feel like I'm in a similar type of grind situation with the solo Ophelia playthrough where if I want to make more progress in the playthrough I need to uh, what the hell that's not the reaction I was expecting I need to like grind a fuckload. It feels like so. It's just. What is your favorite not game for quite... you? Quite. There could be a future time where I come back to Octopath, but something more immediate like a fighting game just feels like so. I don't know. It it feels very uh, appealing to me. Caster edition is just 1.2 GB. Okay, so this might sound like a joke, but I was talking to somebody I really like and I sent them dick dot dot pics and they got super upset and said they have never been more humiliated. Okay, so this moon styles thing, which we're about to watch. I already looked into this a bit. I'm pretty sure this system does no- like, I'm pretty sure this system no longer exists in the new game. I don't know if there's anything like this in the new game, but I think they got rid of this. So this is not applicable to type Lumina, but I might watch it anyway. Please help. Oh yeah, so- send nudes in an unsolicited fashion, lol. The uh... I guess the thing with the moons... Okay, this might not be the place to ask. You gotta apologize. Is that the crescent moon lets you do reverse beat, which is cancel from like B to A or from like C to B or C to A. So... Like, you're doing some kind of string where you're canceling normals into stronger normals, but then you can cancel the stronger normal into a weaker normal, and, and I think like the full moon style doesn't allow that or something and so from what I know these styles are no longer in the new game type Lumina however reverse beat seems to have been confirmed from that Today, character trailer you that was really good. Uh, released and from what I know reverse beat causes your damage scaling to get worse the moment you do a reverse beat, but I think it adds Have potentially a lot of creativity yet? with, um, oh well I'm probably gonna play Seal, who is actually on screen right now. Wait, have you even tried the game lol? No, I never played Melty, I've never played Melty Blood before, I'm just gonna play the new one. I sent like 20 lines of damage control text but I think they went to bed.
you play in arcades. In the new game, it seems like you can get 400% meter, but only when you're down around, when you have round disadvantage or something. This music are very relaxing. Er, I don't know if Blood Heat requires four bars in the new game, or just three bars. That extra fourth bar in the new game is a little confusing to me right now, so I don't know how that works. Oh, circuit spark defensive option. Oh, this is kind of like a burst. You see Evangelion. Yes. Holding shields, okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if shield was like some kind of parry mechanic. I love Akira. He's a good movie. Wait, <laughs> does anyone know if this game you'd hold back to block? Is that true for this game? I'm assuming it is, but or do you have to do the shield input to block? Like, I'm still confused on shielding versus blocking, I guess. Yes, back to block. Okay, so... So there's blocking, shielding, and EX shield. Shield bunker. <laughs> like, I don't know how many of these mechanics are in the new game, but it's just interesting seeing all this. But so there's a guard bar, right? I don't know if that's in the new game either. This game is a fusion of King of Fighters, Persona, and Street Fighter. For me. Now, I really do think that the moon system here, where you get to pick which style, is kind of interesting. It like alters the characters. So you have like different versions of your character. It's pretty cool. However, it seems like in the new game, moons are simply another meter, and there's like another moon mode you can activate. But uh, I don't think you get to pick a style, so that may be, like this entire video about moon styles may be just completely irrelevant to the new game. Oh, 
Oh, here's that auto heat at 200 for a half moon. You see the new Steam console. Yeah, I saw that. I don't know what Clash is. Yeah, I don't know what Clash is. I mean, I guess it's if two attacks... Well, I don't know. See, this, this moon system is pretty interesting. It's I think it's pretty cool. So, I don't know. It's not in this game. Oh, apparently, I think in this game the maids were yes, one I character. Like visitar Mexico, a machos, lugers, dondi, aki, machos, video, wagos, y cons, olas, antiquas, amui, bune, prezio, pero, sos, i, a, k, tenor, cuidado, de aki, es, mas, todo, bien. Wait, I might be wrong about the maids being... I might have been wrong about that, I'm not sure though. What about the maids? Oh, I thought that in, in some places, this game they were the same games. character, but I might be wrong about that. I think I'm actually wrong just looking at this right now. Slash TVS1. There are two normal mates and the robo one. I wonder if any of the robo or powered and seal or whatever make it into the new game. I guess they say that the game's launching with over 10 characters and they've only shown 6 I think. So that's like 5 more characters that they've not shown yet, at the very least.
by Narxi I send a hue from Mexico have a nice night. Take care. One of the maids VA died not that long ago, guess that one is not making it. Both maids are in the in the new game, so I had that change the voice actress. Hey what's up? This feels cozy. Yeah, welcome to the stream. So there's some kind of mechanic called air tech or tech. And you can block in the air. And you can throw in the air.
Hey, look at you. Hi, what's up? Actually, I think this aspect of the game is pretty, uh, looks pretty tasty. I think it could be very enjoyable. Or just throw them. What the heck is that name? What name? What? Reef Spite Spreelbirds. Oh, you can't type it. Is Chaos Guy name? That's my main right there. The gal in the grandma outfit. So salty there's no Zion in the new one. They've only shown six characters and I still have at least five more to reveal, so we'll see. They said specifically there wouldn't be Zion. Oh really? Okay. Satch. Lot of essays in this conversations.
From 31 to 11 Aprox kinda sucks. Yeah, I mean, I would imagine this is the type of thing where they would either make a new version of the game later or DLC or something or Not just like small rosters are where it's at. I'm not too bothered with the roster size right now, I don't think. But Lef was right that the character designs are trash young. <laughs> what for this game? Actually they're just clean and simple, I think, which I actually can appreciate that. How do you compare it to Strive, though? I think the, uh, unrelated to Strive, but I think, I think the type Lumina, the HD sprites, are like a huge improvement over Actress again. Like, I think that's a huge upgrade. There's definitely a happy medium. Character design is like make everyone wear school uniforms, if not, martial arts clothes. Oh well. I'm actually about it. I don't know. I feel like I I feel like I'm I'm starting to find my bliss. Maybe. <laughs> With the new game, maybe. I know I'd like this because it seems like a more simple Guilty Gear.
Wait, did that do no chip damage? It did guard meter damage, but no chip damage. Yeah, I was wondering about option select. I was wondering about option selecting uh, attacking a throw. But I don't know. chat and gives frozen banana and Greek yogurt bites. I love frozen banana. Lately I've been freezing raspberries as well. Throw them in me cider. Is this about back dashes? Oh, jumping out of block. Nom nom nom. Melty blood so good.
If you had the community edition you could be trying this out right now. Nah just gonna wait till type Lumina. That guy with the name you can't type. PSH. I love you Narcy, I'm from 4chan. Hi. Wow, there's a sound font for vocals that's literally just breathing. That's even ski make me smoothie PLS. It's actually really useful for atonal vocals. I'm in a good mood lately. Viva Chili. Hi. Blender's running. I'll pour it into Ethernet when it's done. Smiley face. Que esto pasando en Chile? When's the dip die look coming back? Oh, oopsie, I just poop.
Good evening, everyone. Hi, Tracy. Looks like there's a lot to this game. <laughs> it's spelled good. I usually just hold left and up or down and mash every button available in Fighter's Law. Hi Tracy. Auto combos were such a great addition to fighting games. Pretty sure the auto combos in Type Lumina are gonna be pretty much always suboptimal that could help new players get a feel for the game. Sometimes you don't need hella damage. They're great for consistency in clutch situations and you can use them to hit confirm in some situations. <laughs> I don't like really picky inputs and I like buffer systems. Hi, and welcome to CEO Taku 2019. I'm Duck Gator, and joined with me is... Uh, Sakanto. Right. And we got some Melty Blood for you. Are you excited? I am. I'm, I'm actually mad hyped for this top eight. I'm so this hyped for this. Holy so shit. Sick. Dude, totally. Uh... Be careful, bro. <laughs> I am very excited for this top eight. That's all I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a stacked top eight. We got five JP players who came all the way across, mainly from the big one second scene. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, man, if only I could remember which region that's Where from, but Fortnite? it's from... Man, I think it's like Southern Japan, I can't remember. Probably. So but before we get started, why don't you tell us about Rakuchan or... Rakuchan. So, um, a lot of people over here we have, oh, so up is going to be now is Rakuchan versus uh, Ura. Rakuchan is a player who's came to the U.S. a lot of times before. Oh, they're already getting started. Player? Oh, they're already getting started or a bunch of... Uh, Damn, these guys are like... Probably oh, don't want to play on the stage either. Yeah, they don't play on the stage. So, um... Rakuchan, who's going to be on the left right now, is playing H. Len. He's the strongest player with that character. He travels right probably the most guys. out of any of the JP players. Whereas uh, Ura on the right is known for being the like the most outlandish, craziest player possible with H. Satsuki, but he's the so strong because scene. he gets younger yeah, and seen younger. Yeah, he's playing uh, the pools over there. He, he's nuts. Wild. He's a nutcase. But the way he does it, it's so smart. They actually call him... Sonicu Chimpan no Hajime. <laughs> the, the, the what Sonic guys the commentators? That's what they call him. Wow. Well, for real, that's what they call him. We got... Five JP players who came all the way across, mainly from and play in uh, the pool. For real, that's what they call him. On like the cab and everything, like straight up there on the commentary because he's so crazy. 
but he's so strong. You'll be able to see this in this match as we start out. Uh, let's see if he plays any different on PC here. It, it's a little different yeah, than the, the children cab. doing commentary. Ooh. Yeah, like right. Knocked down that one. Oh, just ticks out. Nice, nice. Wow. Throwing out there. Okay, OT. Oh, he could have that throw. Like... A 14-year-old destroyed me in Smash the other right. day. Len with that uh, jump down C, right? That's yeah. what he's going to be doing most here at uh, neutral. You're going to be careful about those cats, too. That was a black cat. Oh, yeah, the cats will catch you off guard. Sometimes you just forget they're there and you get hit. Yep. All right, knock down the corner. And there he is, jump down C. You yeah. got to deal with that. He had to jump out of that because what um, H1 can definitely do that J2C that he's doing with those three O's round mm -hmm. is a fuzzy, like a really dangerous one, too. Oh, yeah. I know yeah. about that fuzzy. Yeah. I got hit by that a couple times. Yeah. So what he does is, so he's going to be trying to, he's going to be jumping a lot, a lot. But so is uh, Ura, who has like a, um, her JB has a charge to it that sends out like a sonic boom. Mm -hmm. And so you'll see Ura play the spacing game with that. Oh, you see that parry? That was yeah, amazing. No, 5C has a clash box on it for some reason if you don't charge it. Huh. So you can actually beat DPs with it. Yeah. Wow. Good throw right here. Akshan is so good if he's knocked down. Oh, is what, what I would say. <laughs> he gets carried right hey. out of it. I wasn't up here. Yeah. Oh, it's the first out? Yeah. I mean, he's playing H just now. Yeah. Right, yeah. Since each moon like automatically bursts once they get touched from heat, it's really troublesome for them because they really don't want to get hit. But they also can take one if they feel like it. Yeah, you can basically just uh, go in for free and if you hit, you burst out. You still I get a knockdown out. anyway. Ooh, oh, very what nice. A catch. That was really good. Doesn't even confirm the air to air counter. It just goes right in there, so. Yeah, they grew up with this stuff. Okay, I got my first down decent down gaming PC in like 1995 and had to oh, learn wow. later. Catch him with the suit there. All right, cat's on screen. What's going to happen? Ooh, a boy's nice catch. catch. Yeah, the JB is going to be putting oh, in work. What are you trying to wake up? Okay. It works. Good catch with Icicle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's facing these out really well. He knows exactly when he's going to approach. He throws out of the ice. Ooh. That's the thing he's really worried about, but that's a really good placement for Murray right there. Every time he fades back, he's catching him doing that Icicle with it. Oh, yeah, that's really smart. All right, they're just kind of facing each other out here. Oh, wow, he knows. He's, he's caught on to this patterns now. He knows exactly when he's going to jump down soon. Yeah. Okay, he's in heat. Smash Brothers melee was fun, though. It's fine. I think he just go wild at that point. Oh, yeah, since that's multi hit, you can't confirm Oh, it. there you go. Wow. Yeah, that was you so can, smart. <laughs> so compared to other bursts, in well, the air, you're actually free and it knocks on the away. On the but gateway, when using using it, it's a free punch out of the air. Yeah, because they recover right away, right? Cool. Yeah. That's fine. And you can't attack air throws in the game. Yeah. So that is a free air throw. <laughs> the temptation to rub my like, eyes is always way too strong. Oh, nice catch the air dodge. Dodge. Wow. Okay, just needs one hit left. Can you do it? Now Aki's making this very hard. Yeah, all this jumping around is giving her like pretty There's good only stress. seven seconds left, so he's gotta make something happen here. Now, Ur should just play nice really bunker. late. There nice! Oh, yeah. Wow! That was, that was a very smart bunker. Even if he punished that, it wouldn't have been enough. Nah, the metered bunker is uh, really strong for what it does since it goes puts you in a hard knockdown. Mm -hmm. So even if there wasn't time left, Ura could run a uh, mix-up off of that. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we adjust this game. He, he that was probably, actually pretty what even. What sounds in the yeah. background? It's a lot of jumping from both characters, but that's like what Melty is, you know? There's yeah. a whole lot of air movement compared to other games, which are a lot more grounded. The oh, wow, it starts out with the beefy air. Oh, oh, messing up the combo! Wrong command oh, grab. Man. Yeah, that uh, command grab of OCG, and she gets a full combo off that, usually. We did it on it. Nice, Wow, fuzzy. I actually beat that up. I'm actually surprised. Nice, here comes the to Tikai my meds. I should do Ooh. that. Wow, I need off water. the trade. I can't believe this. The pickup? Ur is so good with confirming his air hits. Oh, there yeah, he is. Knows, he knows. He's watching it He knows. He's ready Raku for this. has been doing that a lot. Ur is definitely making some adjustments here. Oh, <laughs> Immediately oh that was a mess up air throw, that shield. That was a little low. I don't think he should have gone for that, but I'm not up there. Oh, he just kind of stood there and took the draw. What happened? Yeah, he's kind of getting hit on wake up here. There it is, it's 1 DP. 
combo. Back spin. into it. Cat again. Oh, face out the heat. All right, let's see Ur do something here. This is his chance. He has no... Oh, very good shield. Yeah, and he works his medicine. Is so good. medicine. With the auto burst. Yeah, the uh, auto parry, my bad. Very fast. Easily get a combo off him. All right, I think Ur is uh, really adjusting here. He knows what to do now. Yeah, his movement's doing really good at catching uh, every time Rocket Chan decides to jump up in the air. So he's starting to meet him up there. Yeah, oh, there nice you go. catch on jump. Air. He does know now. Bunker. Okay. <laughs> All right, right so back. I guess we're going to run it back. <laughs> oh, that could have been huge. We didn't quite confirm it. Ah, that was a command grab. Oh, yeah. yeah. This mask right out of there. Oh, that had a nice mistake, catch. right? Not quite dead yet, but he's in heat, so he can just do whatever. Yep. Yeah, there it is. That was a very quick game one. All right, good stuff. Straight to Ura for that. Really shows. Apparently, they've had, like, a big rivalry. They really? Meet, they meet almost every single time that they're down there at hmm. Big One Second. They play versus Moai, but Moai was so good on, re like, hard reading his air game. Wow. Every single time Scott would try to change it up, Moai was ready for that and would just go and air throw it out of him. So, coming into this, I'm pretty sure Scott's going to try and adjust to that from what he's seen a lot of, but it was, like, really getting him. So that's the thing about playing casuals is, uh, if you play the guy in tournament, they're going to know what's up no already. Idea. Yeah, so... So well, that's, you do blunt sports I mean, again. if you want to get casual and get the JT player, they flew all the way out here, but if you meet yeah. them in tournament, top eight, they're kinda, ready. You know, yeah, they're ready for you. They're already ready yeah. before you even Jeez, step this up. game's and a pretty so big with, deal, eh? Scott, like, I've never been heard a really of strong it. player, like our best yeah, in for a long time. Player. He, I know he's been probably laughing or getting ready for that, but Uro's probably, I mean, Moai is probably ready for that too. Definitely. So it's going to be a lot of seeing, like, just going another back fighter. homework and everything before he came here. Yeah. You're not going to fly halfway across the world and not look at the players. Well, they know Scott. They know Scott. Well, that's the it, only yeah. blood now is Melty Blood. All right, so we got uh, Sasuke again. This time, uh, Simon. A little different. So the difference between what we just saw with Ace Satsuki and Why C not? is the mix-up potential and even the damage on this character. Ace Satsuki because has like IQ. pretty the, be, probably the best neutral of all three, but her pressure also actually works. C's pressure is weaker, but her mix-up game is very strong and oh, offensive. Yeah. I play against uh, C Satsuki all the time, so I know about that. Yeah, you know about that. Ooh. Oh, nice air throw. I think off he tried that to go for a reset or it dropped it. I'm not sure. Yeah, TP's out of there. Master ground. All right, he gets a nice knock. Oh. Oh, huh. Maybe he's oh, trying to catch the air attack Love there. Love the sprites in the animation. Okay, here comes Scott. Wow, he's gonna get out of there. All right. Yeah, he's killed off that OTG. Yeah, Moai match right after that, that left-right setup. Yeah. And that hits him on both sides, right? So that was a smart move. Yep. Needy burst from Scott here. All right, so he's got Scott's got something going here. Low quality conversations uh, with random gotta, trolls gotta, gotta doesn't do any yep. good. Uh, any Eunice players watching will be very familiar with that. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, it's the same in this game too. She's been plus the whole time. Yeah, my right, big combo here. Probably gonna spend the meter, right? Oh no, just go for the throw. Nice, oh, nice, very nice catch out of the air. All right. Yeah, he knows not to attack that. Oh, oh wow. that he good. He beat. <laughs> What right. a comeback from this guy. Please play first game. Yeah. yeah, first time I was all data, it looks like. Trying to feel I don't Moai know. out here. I'm not sure what Moai was pressing. Really out. good setup here. BDP. Okay. Now I can check out that DP in the air, right? So he just decided not to. Yeah. Probably thought Scott was ready for the tech chase. He probably was. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. Scott working out perfect here. Yeah, it's pretty slow for the most part. Oh, he was able to oh, nice. that. Come on, that. Yeah, so sweet. Sweet. That's probably Satsuki's best button to mash with. It's a frame seven sweep that she has. It seems like a low profile has a lot of stuff, too. Yeah. It might be a good answer. It's, it's very, oh, very low. Oh, yeah, air throw. Wow. Nice. While we were talking, uh, Mo, I just got air thrown. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess Scrawl's giving that back to him. He was getting air thrown a lot in casual, so Scrawl's had enough. Maybe that was uh, the thing. He was kind of sandbagging casuals a little bit, getting air thrown on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. So Moai is known to switch characters fairly often. This he does have a C-Roll right on him. So we're going to see him probably the, undoubtedly the strongest character in the game. Now, what I actually like about the Melty Top tiers is they're fun to watch. 
They're fun to watch, but they're so like, it's hard to Playing play science. against. But the stuff they do is so cool that I don't really care as far as spectating goes. Yeah. Ooh, bad job. So we kind of need that knockdown. For those, for those at home who are not aware of this character, have only heard the stories. <laughs> every single time he does that orb thing right there that you see glowing behind him, it's plus 27 science and air unblockable. Science. The character does incredible damage. Has really insane corner carry. Uh, like, yeah, right there, Scott messed up. You're not yep. supposed to match there. The one it, thing I hate about those orbs is if you go behind them, they'll switch sides. They'll switch sides. You can't cross them up. Yeah, so they, every time, for some reason, this character is allowed to break cross-up protection by flying over you. Oh, so yeah. every time the orb auto-corrects to which direction it is, so he can air dash over you, trigger an orb, and hit you for it if you're not blocking right. Yeah, this stuff is so hard to deal with. You just have to know from experience. Like, right there, you gotta parry that sometimes. Scrawl doing the best he can to get out of these orbs. All right, as long as he gets knocked down, he has a chance. But see, Aurora also has a DP, so that's something to uh, yep. keep in mind. I wake up. Ooh, oh, great. nice creepy. This is gonna be big. He, he needs something from me. Michael Aurora, he fell jump. Wow, just jumps right out of there. Let's do it. Good. Right, pressure in the air. That's smart. That's smart. Scrawl's doing exactly what he needs to do. If you if you chase on Rolly, you can't put on the orb. That's right. Nice Even whip. if you know, like, he has all these options, he can't do anything. Oh if my he's god, what he mad? Very nice, very nice. The bait. Is what I like to see. Yep, this is really good right here. Good strip from Scrawl. One round, uh, round away from winner's finals here. All right. Oh, now he's going to set up the orbs. With his OTG. There we go, three yards. There it oh, is! Oh, the cross up! That's so sick. <laughs> this character is so mean, man. DP nice, right DP out of there. He doesn't care. Ooh! Wow! So nice. nice. Okay, there's still one orb on screen. He's plus? Oh, wow. wow that's nice finish. <laughs> He's holding that parry <laughs> as long as he can. Okay, he's getting that health back. TVS he knows those orbs don't go that far. The character name. <laughs> Tries to shoot him post game. He's really nice. trying to keep him from triggering a single orb. I think the time is going to be a factor here. If he's going to play lame like that. Ooh, nice oh, block. nice block. Nice block. Nice. Nice. Okay, that's Aaron Blockle too. Also very fast. You got to deal with that. You can shield him on Flash, however. You can. So, yeah. But if you're rock. doing anything else, that'll hit. Yep. <laughs> he is so brave for going for that shield. Oh, knocked down but shoots him. Now is that a low? It looks like a low. Oh, uh, gun is low, yes. Okay. Oh, oh. no, unfortunate. All right, boy takes game. That's game two, right? Yeah. yeah. So we go game so two. So it's one one right now. One one. Moai, zero. So Scrawl's probably thinking about what he should be doing right now because he's been holding shield, yeah, expecting yeah, it, yeah. but Moai's been waiting for that. He knows he's ready. And that's like the whole thing about Zero that makes him really oppressive is Scrawl's kind of resorting to playing very defensively, even on offense. A single orb that touches him, it's a rip, like oh. that. Dude, that orb guy is messed up. Okay. So he's got to hold all this pressure. There are like two orbs on screen. They're all plus. Now, is the lightning coming down from the sky plus two? I'm guessing it's it is. Plus I'm not sure how those orbs work at all. Looks like you can I shoot a lightning bolt out of them at some point. It's something you know, if it's that plus, it doesn't really matter how plus it is. It's, 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 you gotta block. <laughs> oh, it's not looking good for Scott. I thought he had a plan after that first game. Oh, never mind. There we go. There we go. Very good. But he has to hold this. He's full screen against the orbs. All right, one orb on the screen. Oh, no! That was such a My bad Lord. heat activation. Okay, I, th I think he can adjust here. <laughs> Jake, he hit nothing from it. Now is the time, if any. You gotta so, hold that? Yeah. What made the funniest thing about Ciroa was that he I wasn't. I how those orbs look He and only sound. became this good in this very recent patch of 1.07. All up until then, he wasn't allowed to actually. Um, special cancel specials. Really? The moment they changed that, it was a wrap. At first, nobody understood really what he could do, but the more people laughed, the more people found out how gross this character really is. Yeah, I think you remember in the beginning, I was kind of confused man about how this character was supposed to play, but once uh, you give it some time, you see all yeah. this stuff. Because this game came out in 2011. It's 2019 now. It's been now. a while. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, he, I think Scott's a little nervous. He's dropping whoa, all of his combos. All right, that was a nice attempt. Oh, it's a little bit there. Life is about even now. Oh, wow, the perfect spacing on that heat. This sucks, He's man. Or He's forced hit. to play so, like, he has to play scared. Okay, okay. that was big. He got something? 
Nice, nice, very nice. good, very good. He caught the jump out. He he knows. He's seen this enough. He's seen him jump out of the corner of that knockdown enough to know. Yeah, he's ready for him now. If Strong can keep that up, I'm pretty sure he can take this. Ooh, nice run under. Oh, doesn't get anything off it. He kind of messed up there. Alright, throw more to up. He only gets one, so it's not too bad. Very good. That's the shield he was going for. Oh wow, what was he trying to do on Waco? Uh, it looked like 236A. I saw his hand move back. Big 5.2. Oh wow. Wake up 5C? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. I think he was trying to catch him uh, going after him in the air. This is gonna hurt. Oh yeah, the worst part about this is all bad. Oh no! Man. Great burst. Let's go, Scrog. Oh, let's go, go Scrog. That was the best burst. That was I've so ever seen. good. That was such a good burst. Let's go, Scrog. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> wow, the crowd's going off. What a pop off. <laughs> we got a US player in winners finals. There we go. 2019. How many JP players showed up? Like three, four? Five. Five JP players. Part, yeah. And a US player what still made it into winners finals. So this is what I like to see. So we'll see who gets to meet him now. Really good play from both Moai and uh, Scrot up there. Definitely. At first, it seemed like Scrot was uh, kind of shutting down. He wasn't, he was kind of surprised by this, mm -hmm. you know. Sudden switch from C Satsuki where you know neutral actually happens to C row where it's a single orb and I have to wait, but he was able to adjust himself. Looks like we got a keyboard player coming up. Oh, this is Alps. So Alps is a player who uh, is actually from NA from New York. And he's mm -hmm. kind of coming back from like a big uh, I guess I could say like a uh, training arc of a sort. Really? Some type of hyperbolic time chamber story what exactly with him. Did he do? So he had to leave for Korea for oh. some school. He's oh, in school so currently, but the thing is that uh, there is a big Melty Blood community. Well, not big, in but Korea? small. Yeah, in Korea. All right. Apparently, they play like a lot. He says that they're really strong players out there. Some people we've never seen who could, who like we will probably, I wouldn't say never see, but won't get to see much of. You know, they kind of keep themselves insular. They don't stream or anything. They don't stream. No, no, no. Wow. They don't like sharing matches. They actually don't like sharing really? anything. It's uh, That's interesting. It's, yeah, um, it's a thing that I've seen also with JP players. Some people don't like to have their stuff out there, mm -hmm. especially with the uh, Korean players. Bruh. So they like to keep it to themselves. So Alps himself has been learning with them and learning from them. And wow. so him coming back on from this is kind of like a thing that's been hyped up. We've been communicating with them, of course, and talking about mm -hmm. his experiences. And so now he's back, and he's in top eight. Interesting. Yeah. Last time he was up here, he had lost to Brick, but in um, in his bracket, he was able to double Jeopardy to beat him both times. Very nice. So wow. it's both the redemption, and now he's up here versus... Now, is that before or after the training? This is after. So All this right. is, is post-training. So, I guess the training is paid off. Uh, we're All on right. some Super Saiyan 2 now, you know? <laughs> Cell games. So he's going to be fighting Java Shige, the best C Knuckle Mech we have right now. Pretty tricky character to deal with. Oh, yeah, I love seeing Knuckle Mech. Get yeah. that cat on screen. So, for those what watching, ball. what C Knuckle Mech can do, you'll see, is every time that cat gets hit, it's air unblockable and very dangerous. Yeah, you can tell because uh, the cat has like a red glow around it. That's when it has a hitbox. That's what you can tell. Like right there. Yeah, right there. Okay, cat's in play. He could jump out, but he had to be careful about that. Any touch from the cat, he was gone. And yeah, tricky if you think about the cat as it kind of moves around uh, a little weird. So sometimes he can't get the side, sometimes he can. It's a tricky thing about playing this character. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, barrier. Wow. Surprised that uh, barrier works from behind. All right, so this cat is very fussy. You just got to know how to deal with it. Sometimes it's, you can jump out. It's sort of character dependent. It's uh, gapless at certain points, too, as close as a... Uh, Oh, right yeah, there. there you go. Yep, the cat covers everything. Even if you get a hit, you gotta be aware of the cat. All right, so C9 doing his thing, which is having a DP that puts in the corner. Oh, it's gonna he run a lot of mix ups now. This Monopoly. is what this character is known for. Oh, that. Nice oh, burst. Yeah, he had the burst there. Be careful. He's gonna get thrown again. To the left, right. Ooh, I already got, I already got hit with it. Oh, uh, it's hit. Yeah, that was actually a setup for the cat. Not really a mix up there. So what Zanaya does is he has a uh, bottom 10 ranking of Melty. There's different health. We have guts and defense. Nani's defense is low, but what the character can do is once he gets a hard knockdown, he can run a lot of tricky setups. Some real, some fake. It's a lot of knowledge checking that he does. So it's up to the player to be on their, their tiptoes. I don't know if you saw that earlier, but uh, the mech keeps reacting to the barrier and hit the cat. He tried to punish, and the cat actually hit him out of it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's things <laughs> so, like that that makes the character dangerous in the corner. The moment they hit cat, it's, you have to stop what you're doing. Even if you think you know how to fight against the mech, this is a whole completely different thing. 
Yep. Oh, nice DP. All right. Yeah, the good thing about his DP is he actually grabs you, put it, you uh, yeah. on the other side. So DP out of the corner is a very strong option. Yeah. It was really good for Alice right there to heal, since he needs to heal from it. But he's going to get tagged back anyways. Does the TDS he's not, not say yet. that word now? Like, he still has a Why chance, the robot though he's stuck in the corner against him. So Cat's off screen, Cat's out of play, and back on team. There you go. Neko Mc... Neko Mc... These characters are so well designed. So strong for... Yeah, I updated the code law. Oh, easy play. It's pretty much the same grab as, uh, Mech. Yep. That's usually her best defensive option sometimes. Lose nice. grab. Out of the point. Single out of 6 and 3 from the Lightning Fingers. Wow, that score was amazing. Good back dash from Alex. Well, for him, I was wondering. Is he tries to make you a fade of the cat. Yeah. Not Alex. <laughs> and uh, from that, he starts his real mix up game. Yeah. Every time um, that cat gets hit, if it hits the player while you're blocking it, it pushes you outward. So uh, on hard knockdown, Nekomek can run left, right, Why is it not called Nico? Oh, yeah. Neko. Push him all the way to the corner with that, too. Wow. Like, even though the cat's on screen, you can still do special moves on the table. Call. It's kind of tricky. Good call. Watch your guard meter. Hopefully, yeah, less abusable. guard meter is so low. A character like this is gonna keep you blocking the entire game. If you don't watch that, you're just gonna get blown up. Oh, like he can't block anything right now, and he doesn't. <laughs> it's really tough for him. It's um, there are certain points where you could ex guard since that's what gives you back, you know, meter, Does your guard bar and whatnot. But with a character like this, with so many multi hit things, you don't want to risk it because you end up getting tagged. Yeah, like that. You can't air block that at all. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, air block him. Ooh, that's great. Stop himself from oh, right? no. Doesn't quite punish. Doesn't matter, though. There's another hit after him. Nice knockdown in the corner. Oh, bait something out there. He's gonna go into a mix-up. Oh, oh, he gets a nice combo. Opting for damage. Oh, oh, no, this is a light uh, on the Ooh. Bait's out deep here with the cat. All right. Close to the tech drop with the laser. Oh, big counter hit. That might be it. Not out yet. This all comes up. Oh, oh the cat! No, the, the cat, cat man. <laughs> That's rough. So that has Alps out. With Java Shige continuing on. Man, Alps. I know he was uh, ready for this. He was trying his hardest to practice as much as he could. We, he had a laptop out at when we went to Ruby Tuesday. I think his character <laughs> while we were eating dinner. But, you know, for, for him coming back from Korea and actually being back for only like a short amount of time, like a week, this is a really good performance to see from. Definitely. So it's good to see him, you know, do that well as he could. That was actually a pretty close match. Yeah. He just couldn't uh, get anything going for as long as he needed to. No, that character is very impressive. The moment. The moment they do like two and four with the rocket cat, mm -hmm. it's a wrap. And what we saw that he kind of got cheated out of was his DP. Yeah. Uh, as good as the Naya DP is, the cat can eat hits as well, mm -hmm. and that kind of does nothing. So really, the cat, cat got made robot hit, was not laying Java on Shige, the strong and that's pressure. what led to getting that heat off. That. The cat does so much work for that character. It's it's, ridiculous. it's so ridiculous. I mean, you can't sleep on like the character itself too. Some really strong like ground normals off of it, but that cat is probably the scariest part about that character in general. One of the thing I like about uh. Rocket Mech Cat. compared to regular mech is uh, her air throw actually doesn't put her on the other side. So she gets some nice corner mix up like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, was it? All mechs do that, right? Uh, regular one. I know just like if like Mech Hitsui itself. Yeah, Mech Hitsui puts you on the other side. Puts him on the other side. So if you air throw him in the corner, now you're in the corner. So yeah, you... Neko Mech puts it straight in and just hits the cat. Yeah, it's such a huge change. Kind of wish all of them had it, but you know, yeah. whatever. <laughs> can't have it in. Nope. Kamoni was doing a lot of things. So right here. What we're going to see is Jay Belanger versus like KF KFL. Mm -hmm. So Jay Bell, Florida player, strong. F Miyako, but also plays F Miyako. Really? Are they going, they're going right into it, I guess? I would like cat. to see Miyako, but yeah. you know, it's fine too. So As three different I know why. Oh, oh, it's a butt check. It's okay, so no one. Yeah. So, cool. So, people should recognize who uh, the funny little numbers on the left are. That's going to be Grant or KFL, really strong. Uni and Melty player. Uh, I mainly know him for Melty. Apparently, he used to have a strong presence in Third Strike as a. Yeah, he plays, name does sound familiar. Really he plays Makoto in that game. That so sounds he, right, yeah. <laughs> I think I've seen him a couple of times. And uh, Jacob is from what, USF4, like yeah, Marvel I watched 3 and stuff. And last is stream. a very good player. Very strong fundamentals. Very strong fundamentals. This is third oh, top eight I'm watching that. Yeah, makes sense. That makes sense. So, what you're going to see from hey, here there you go. is a volatile Beautiful. matchup. F Miyako, really known for her and crazy, crazy damage that she can output in left rights, but CR Quake for being 
one of the strongest characters in this game yeah, that we have. Thank you so much for trying this on me. She's not uh, getting hit like this. <laughs> yeah. So Miyako right now is showing off that damage for the most part. Oh, what a bait. Doesn't quite punish it, though. All right, JT2. Can you get a pressure start? Wow, he, he knows his matchup. Yeah, Grant's ready for this. So this is going to be a very strong combo. After this, this you know, like combo, yeah, just the left right mix up. I kind of last so long, too. Yeah, every time she ends this combo correctly, she gets a left right high low. If he ends it correctly, yeah. that's, uh, that's the kicker. Then. Nice, Jason. So the thing about this character is there's so much to talk about in terms of how very grimy she is. She has a JC where uh, in this game usually JC is one last like that many frames, but for base. some reason they design arcs to WTS. disjoint the last 10 frames. She can convert off of anything with meter, like those records yeah, right there. Like Chun Li sucks in this game. I kind of do like a whole so I don't know. Yep, no, I'm watching them. Like stuff like that, the uh, super jump, whatever it is. Yeah. Like, like, she can get that same exact combo as you'll see Grant doing off of a 2A anyway. Um, she can convert off of a 2A in the fighting, fighting game. Damage with meter. I have yeah, a street fighter it's, for it's a stick that is so fun to play. You'll see that right now. Which one is Chun? Oh, what's that? Yeah, actually, yeah. It's a Nanny Brain for Mava. Yeah, so. Unlike other characters' dashes, where you have to cross them up, Arcs can run through you, so she'll cross you up. So really, instead of doing that BD, Grant could have crossed up to go for that. Exactly. But he chose not to. Arc kind of puts her on the side opposite of where she air through you from. Actually, Miyako is nothing like Chun. Not much. Oh, jeez, this game's see, uh, been out for a while. Air yeah. The air game is very scary versus Arc. Like. I'm just being a shit. Like, the ground game is not working out for him right now. Yeah, it's so very tough. Tough. something up. The new one is coming oh, set 30th, I think. Oh, he's almost 4K. Ooh, nice. But this okay. one has been out for like 10 years. That was going to be huge right here. Oh, catches all right. the tech. Nice tech. So this throw is going to hurt. So ground tech are actually fine for this game, right? EX elbow. Oh, oh wow. nice catch my back dash. Very good. Yeah, it's like Harry Toby's not want to block here. To say my I understand why. Is back in full force lol backslash. Ooh, that was dangerous. That was dangerous. Okay, it's close as this. Okay. Safe release. Legendary bathroom set oh. game. Melty Blood. Arc 5A is very big, too. Alright, it's gonna be huge, Aaron. What was the setup? Kiss in the corner. Okay, you know, you know, like an absolute exactly legend. Alright, there's only 10 seconds left. Oh, okay, okay. Pause oh, the clock. Clock. Get some health back. He might just play lame here. Oh, oh. Yes! Kiss let's go! go. I can make this comeback for sure. He has meter, he's gonna spend it. It's a nice knockdown here. Ooh, yes, very good, J Bell. Watch your feet. Getting caught mashing. That was a very good round from J Bell. Nice comeback. That's only one round, though. He needs uh, a lot more of those to win this. Yep. Oh, wow, that actually crossed up. Yeah. Great block. Any combos off the elbow. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Ice just gets a combo off everything. Oh, they're out. It's, it's so literally good. anything she does. Oh, right there. Yeah, that was a good trade. Those, uh, that half circle move is, a ha it's a half circle back, but when you TK it, it's plus. Huh. And even the regular ones are plus. Just when you TK it? I think when you reg do it regular, it's still plus anyways. It's, a, it's, man, this character. Oh, wow, that that's up. All right, throw combo. Nice. Nice reset. Nice full meter here. He's obviously gonna spend it. He's gonna spend it. Still has a little bit left to see. Oh wow! Nice get, shield on the G two. Gets the shield. Who does that? Right, back. Nice throw. Nice fix. Oh no! Oh no! Big drop. Big drop. Let's be careful. No! Oh, no! He really needed that that combo. Jacob's was gonna have to block this. Combo. Yeah, the game looks oh. polished. I thought it was oh, newer, no. but the four colon three aspect ratio clued me in. All right, so it's down to Jabo. It's down to wire. Well, intense. Crowd is silent. Oh, catches him. Uh, Very good for All right, he's got full meter here. Get this knocked down. Nice five K. Huge damage from this character. Great block on the overhead. Pressure's still going. Nah, you can't match there. Mashing. OTG. Alright. So he's getting... Oh, okay, he knows, he knows when to match out. Or that was just a random guess. That's five ants here. Frame four, by the way. Wow, he knows. Oh, oh the DP. He's going to convert off this. Yeah. Oh, oh, it doesn't quite do it. Maybe her hitbox is Some tiny. very, very scary scrambles. 
I just need one hit left. Don't let him come back again. Please, please. Watch it. Oh, no. no. no I just... What can such a hit do, though? Oh, nice job. Wow, just right, activate. He time needs that health back. That was smart. That was smart. Yeah, he's making this comeback. Yes! Oh, he's dropping so much. Maybe he has uh, some kind of terminators being on stage here. Ooh, the air there. He knows he's gonna try to accept that pressure. We're jumping. Point two seconds left. If Jibo gets a single hit, he's gotta activate that heat no. just at the right moment. And he gets hit. Oh. So Grant moves on. That's close. Cool, mm -hmm. Oh man. Good stuff to Jacob and Grant. KFL. Definitely. Yeah, move on. That's a very tough character to deal with. <laughs> Don't smile at me, Grant. Don't smile at me. Don't smile at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very, very good stuff from J Bell. It was a lot of what really makes it hard in the game, right under. That was nutty. Yeah, that, that character <laughs> has gotten happy. so much in this game. Did the homeless man win? I don't like thinking about it. He's <laughs> <laughs> one hit left. Don't let him come back again. Please, please. <laughs> one oh, no. no. Like this. One consistent hit, J Bell. Oh, nice job. Lol. Wow, just right, activate. He, he needs that health back. That back. was smart, that was smart. Yeah, he's making this comeback. Yes! Oh, oh, he's Beard dropping so lost. much. Maybe he has uh, some kind of terminators being on stage here. Ooh, the air there. He knows he's going to try to accept that pressure. We're jumping. Point two seconds left. If Jibble gets a single hit. He's got to activate that heat no. just at the right moment. And he gets hit. So Grant moves on. That's cool. <laughs> so, so let's right see how this goes. Of course, uh, going with the H Len and uh, nothing like Seems here. like he wilted no to the pressure. Looks like. End of Duck Dynasty. Should have played the Grand Lawsuit Gal. Alright, good fist bump. All right, fist bump. So here we go. Okay, let's see if he knows how to deal with this uh, jump down C. Jump to C. Oh, he does. That's Kevin nice Spicy. Oh, oh, that was a uh, tech trap. I thought he was it. <laughs> nice shield. Yeah. So, other than the cat being <laughs> helpful, and Harry Toad Base Mobile Legends is pretty good. The best game is being glory and nice Walker. Wow, I get a really beefy combo off that. Wow. Yeah, here comes the cat. Let's hear your best roast of red no, I think he might man. actually be intentionally getting hit by the cat so he can tech out of there. Yeah, he's not like pressing any buttons. So, you can only combo off. So. So let's see how this goes. Of course, uh, going with the H Len and uh, nothing back here. Lol, no I don't think I have a roast. Looks like. So Give me any Mava and I'm pretty so happy. You can only combo off uh, air, air hit if it's counter hit, so you don't want to be pressing buttons in the air if you don't have to. Alright, so you have to respect this. He's a Oh, man. He's nice not respecting hit. that cat. He actually baited that uh, bunker. You can see it too much, huh? Come on, let's hear your That's best escape, joke. Enough. Great I got one. All the way back in the corner. What's that? Text the throw? I guess his defense is on point. You can check that throw. Ooh, Ooh nice block on that barrier. I got nothing. That. Still doesn't get anything off it. Okay, great burst accuracy. Oh, man! I have one hit left. This can go either way, though. If he gets one knockdown in the corner, it's... That's it. You know that cats manga come and face me. Who knows what's happening? Rock your chin. Oh, man. Very good. I'll <laughs> do it again. <laughs> Just do it again. All right. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Hey, Rock your chin trying as hard as to keep off the ground. As if he can stay away from the cat. Have you he been can save himself in the game. But Rock your... Uh, Java Shika is taking good work of that... Uh, that is some huge damage. He is damage. resting manga coming main off. face. Come hit. Run into the corner. JC. Yeah, he's just getting hit by the cat. So he can check out. That's really smart. Oh, yeah. Good barrier. Okay. Not a really good facing to hit the cat, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. So other than, <laughs> other than hitting the cat, it's like you can tell it to shoot laser beams. So what he can do is catch your jump. And if he catches you at the right height, since all normals on the ground are air unblockable, just come in 5 8 you. Can Resting a J.O. face law. Don't be rude to melty players. They have it rough. Back. It's nice! Oh, oh, it's so low, too. 
Not the AJ, the one with the furrowed brows and the rainbows behind it. He's finally in a position where he's put under pressure. So, <laughs> there you go, go out, grab. So Rocker actually messed up that instant over. I don't know. There, fuzzy guy. <laughs> Second time that's happened. The guy adjusted his face in a little bit. It's like I mean, they do say throw is close on whiff. Ha ha ha. Convert off this throw into another setup. Yeah, I love these uh, lemon throw combos he has. Wow. Sheesh. Playing a little sloppy right here. Very scrambly. All right, so after a while, that Rekka can't take on round one and game two. Gets out of that scramble. All right, already back in the corner. Round start. That's the thing about being able to move before the round actually begins. You actually just put yourself in the front. Oh, it's set up. Yeah, I like how he's mixing up the high laser with the lower angling. Yeah, he's either throw. going for jumps. Wow, that was such a good conversion off that. This combo was gonna hurt. Oh, uh, messes up. Though. Very good spot dodge, but he first. Ooh, catches it. Ooh. That's gonna be big. I was set up. Catches the uh, with the lightning. Now the lightning is air unblockable, right? I believe it is. Oh, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm gonna assume it is because he got caught there. Yeah, he uses that as a poke a lot too. I really like. And I think it's a plus on block. Yeah. Maybe it just might be the X one. Oh, he's just catching oh. up with his chainsaw. Strong pressure from Java. Now it's such a strong button from Harry too. It's huge, moves forward. It's a, you can charge it. it. It's either two hits or three hits if I recall correctly. I think it's three hits. Three Ooh, that was such good spacing on the cat. He's gonna go backwards. You don't. Nice catch for 5C. Gonna be like a nice 5K almost. Yeah, 5K. Does nothing right there because he knows he's gonna jump oh, out of the corner. Cool. All right, what is the setup? Throw the cat onto it. First. <laughs> Okay, so you gotta respect it. Back well, in the corner. Why did yeah, Spider Man get rid of the moving around before the round yeah. start? Oh, you forgot the no, cat was there! No, there it is. He the cat was the right cat was there. there. All right, go straight to Raku Chan and moves on. I don't Man, know many I, uh, games that do that. <laughs> I kind of so cool. like it. It's yeah, even when the cat's on sc off screen, you can still hit it and it'll go right back on. Away from so you. Messi does give you a lot of defensive tools. So you don't. He's very good at like keeping himself in check for the most part. Melty does give you a lot of defensive tools, so you don't always have to be blocking if you know uh, what's coming. Yep. We're going. So we already got the next match going. Right so this is a uh, pretty popular Moving character for the, the most part. We're going to be seeing a lot of Nero Chaos. So with him, we're going to be seeing a lot of the deer and a lot of uh, big, the big JC button and that croc mouth. Okay, he doesn't get the air throw off that. Oh, nice hand here with TC. So a lot of his combos are just going to end in uh, the air attack and while he sets something off on the ground. Games used to he do can't that. go for the ground throw because of corner pressure. We usually try to uh, set up some kind of animal on the ground. With, due to Ark having very Check fast speed, it's kind of scary for Nero. He doesn't get to set up uh, the zoo, as people like to call it all the time. Every single time you see a worm or a snake come out of it, it's going to be either negative edge or something that places uh, inherently. And with the, the va with Nero, what he can do is just like let that go or try to throw. Ooh, nice answer for five C. Perfect spacing. Very good. Um, what he can do with that is even if Nero gets hit and it's a combo on the ground, Grant has to change it up and immediately a uh, jump cancel. Now if not, like he gets hit by the worm, paper, and now it's Nero's turn. Wow. All right, the deer is in play. Doesn't quite do too much. Nice, JC. Right, this is not where Nero wants to be. He's probably weakest in the corner. He doesn't really have too many defensive options, right? No, you really only have a heat, which is not so good, shielding out and attempting for something. Nero doesn't have a forward dash traditionally to teleport, but yeah. it's very committal. All right, so those pros are going to be like one of his main pressure tools there. This combo is going to hurt. Oh, oh kind of dropped it. A deer is still on screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, deer's deer right there. Deer based the... Uh, wow. Oh! What was he Wrong doing? Drive. Okay! Oh, all right. Guess not... Zato equals one <laughs> is kind of cute in this game. Yeah, a sloppy game, but I kind of like it. All right, there we go. This is the setup I'm talking about. They just kind of tech in the air while he sets all this stuff up on the ground. Yeah, this character looks crazy. All right, Aerith doesn't quite kill, but he's got to hold that all of it now. That big jump seat, I think it is. Ooh, and THH nice, oh, hurts are cool. 
I think it's either instant hover or fuzzy it combination like of both. It was something, but I like that. So Moai takes game one. It's probably not safe uh, on hit, but since that was ending the round, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Put it up as well. Worms are on the place. floor. Crows are in the sky. What's he gonna do? You're gonna be seeing a lot of that croc mouth. It's, it's, it's insanely such a good poke. It's not an overhead too, is it? No, it's only a mid, but it's insanely plus. Even if like you ex guarded, it only pushes out so far. This guy with the elevator seems to it, be a like, ender mix ups with it. Incredible so starter, anti air, Melty does your bath homework. Melty blood has Nasuverse characters. <laughs> the hell is a Nasuverse? I really like the way he's using uh, just the crows, the projectile to keep him on the ground while the deer is coming. Yeah, if he keeps him grounded, he's a nice guy. Wow. Teleports to bait him into hitting the deer. That was so smart. That was so good. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta appear like you're vulnerable, trick him into punishing you when they really shouldn't be. Oh, what is he gonna do there? Grant's gonna be able to follow his combo off of this. Yeah, he's gonna need uh, something here. Now you said Nero has more health than even Ark here, right? Yeah, he this has girl more is health, from so it's a battle of two characters with a lot. Oh, you wouldn't yeah, think Ark would have a lot of health. He's best as tanky as he is. He does do a lot of damage, so that'll definitely come into play here. I think Nero does like below average damage. It's not much. It's what he can do, though, in neutral, and how good he can control it is what makes this... Uh, Chip is also a factor, too. Yeah. All, this stuff. all the worms still in play. You gotta watch out for that. Nice heat. I think that was, like, just barely inside the spacing without a hit. Ooh, doesn't respect the worm. Just jumps over that. All right, jumps over the crow. Oh, gets hit by Jason. What a pickup. That was really nice. I tried I watching Fate right Unlimited Blade Works. Or whatever, but Fate Slash Zero was way more interesting to me. Fate Slash Zero was pretty good. I'm not gonna set up too much. So with the crow, when they throw it out, you can actually use some kind of forward moving uh, move just to get out of it. Usually dashes don't work, but anything fast enough that moves you forward work. So I think your elbow may actually work to get out of there. There it is, Biohazard. <laughs> EX throw after 5C. Oh, oh, double crows. Crows on the screen. Goes low. Uh, empty jump low, the classic. That's classic. All right. It's been working since 1982. So Moai moves on. Good stuff to KFL. Fate Man, slash zero I was, was not great. expecting that. He has such a big list of characters under his belt. It's crazy. Hmm. I, I I heard he has an F Hime as well. Really? So you might be so seeing that. You might be seeing Hime and Roa. Hime, Roa. It's going to be a lot of pressure from both characters. The one thing for certain is how this Aesatsuki is a lot more common yeah. for some reason, especially recently in North America. Scott's used to it. So I want to see like how he's going to counteract how Ura plays. Right, looks like they went right into it. No button check. We don't need button checks here. Oh, nice neutral. Is that a Under Knight has jump way jump? better character this designs than actually her than JV Melton. that she can charge with the Sonic Wave. Oh, Joey. All right. Oh, nice J counter. Nice knock on the oh just DP AD combo cool off it with that counter hit. So a strong combo too. Brings him right all oh, oh, brings him right back into the corner. So that combo right there that he's doing with the gun, that's so the gun loop that like only that. works on Satsuki. Really? It's it a character specific. Yes. So Scott plays this game a lot. I'm sure he knows all the characters if it's come. Yeah, there's an infinite with gun on the uh, chaos. Not sure why Ura mashed there, because that's very still plus eight. Yeah, that is yeah. very plus. So Scott coming in, uh, second round with almost full meter, or with almost none. Let's see what he does with Nice it. bullet, counter lull. He's probably going to spend his run with top speed. All right, I'm just going to hit for him. This isn't going to be a great knockdown, but you kind of uh, expect that pressure there. When you're about half screen like that after an air throw, you don't really need to respect uh, the pressure too much, depending on the character. Ooh, that's a command Two, grab. Three, four, five. Oh. Okay. Oh, does not oh, spot dodge out. All right. <laughs> What's significant about her spot dodge is that hers moves. 
Whose move is pretty fire, too. I forgot too. what yeah. a Roman cancel is. It's kind of oh, complicated man, to explain, but basically back. there's a counter ADP? at the bottom and every couple hit. seconds it picks a winner. There's a full combo off the TP here. Oh, the oh, misses the air throw. I saw that. He's got a max one right now. He's going to spend that meter very soon. Yeah, he better spend that meter. He's going to waste that. A Roman cancel 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 it's okay. You still lose that 100 for All right. nothing, basically. So you might as well spend it on something if you have it. Very strong pressure from Ura. Gonna take this kill. He's dead. Yep. Round two goes to Ura. All right, so we're seeing a lot from both players right now. A lot of strong stuff from Scott. A lot of ADP mash out, and Ura's been uh, doing his best to move weight. Wow, he's trying to jump out there. He got caught with a 5A. So he's in the corner. I think he's expecting this uh, knockdown game way too much. Yeah. He can do something here. But he has been doing those those DPs like right there. Yeah, very good. Okay, can't get too much off it. Good luck on that bunker. All right, four meter. Oh, those jump Bs I spaced so well. Now, she doesn't get too much damage off her uh, just normal combos, it looks like. Her no. air combos. Her damage isn't as strong as the other moves, but she makes up for it by being able to play the game a lot better than the other moves can. OTG? Yeah, that's hey, it. Hey, here we go. Punch in the face. Round one goes to Ura. Now let's three out of five, right? Because winning finals. Yeah. Two. So this one, so I want to see how Scott now is going to come from this, because he's been doing a lot of Abari, especially DPs. So I guess he's going to run straight to Ura this time. It's cool strong to combo. watch. But I don't know enough about fighting games for this game specifically to parse it. Back. I think he is just using that first game as information. He's trying to get a feel for how Ura plays. Nice dash off that. Every single time Satsuki does that little wind punch right there, the best he can do after that is to jump cancel. So Scott jumping on that was really good. Hey! Hey! hey. Nice knockdown here. Goes for the gun. Plus, plus a lot. So we got eight bullets left. We're going to shoot him again. J24, nice! <laughs> Ooh, the command grab. All right, so Ura's about to go in the heat, which is H1 you really don't want, because that is very important for them. So he's... Yeah, he's like going to spend it on there. Right. There you go. Now, does Sasuke have any EX moves you can just throw out there? Say, um, uh, ground slam is pretty good for keeping plus, but that's during pressure. So there's no easy way for her to just spend meter and not go in the heat. Now, some characters are able to just waste in the air and get over with. Ooh, he's dead. Oh, wow. That's nice first right out. That was a confident first. Matching at 41. All right, he's in heat here. Ura gains health back. He doesn't really need this health back, but uh, he's getting it anyway. Ooh. Oh, nice. that should be it for the round. All right. Big counter hit there. All right, so now we're at match point. Just so Scott gets back to get it back to 2-2. Oh, no, we're not a match, but we still have three games. Yeah, it's uh, first to three here. Winners finals. Wow, that's very really nice. Crazy. Catch on that jump out. All right, keep up pressure. That 5C, you're going to be seeing her swinging that a lot. That move does so much for her. Yeah, it looks like a huge button for this kind of character. What it does is it clashes with normal. So even like really? if Scott does a DP and her reads it, he'll clash and punish. It's very strong. Oh, he didn't expect the plus one. <laughs> oh, oh, there is the getting overhead. Getting hit by six B. Unlike in Eunice, where it's real overhead and melty blood, it's like 19 frames. Yeah, it's a very fast one. Oh, whoa, wow, what? wow, wow. This time he already did here. Now he's got to hold all this pressure. Not Good pressure. Fight. He's getting he's three for three on these command grabs. <laughs> I'm surprised. Yep, clash right there. Making Satsuki look like a real grappler over here. I expect a DP from uh, Scott too. It's it looking right there. Time. There's been a perfect time. Oh, oh JA. He probably tried to anti here with uh, Stand A. Oh, he's going to... for a big combo. Oh, tries to catch the uh, tech out of there. Wow. Not Ooh, what a match. So Scott down two games. I think he can bring it back. What do you think? Uh, I hope he can bring it back. From the looks of it, it looks like he's probably figured out what to do next. He's been getting Ura a lot, but Ura's been able to keep him down in the corner and make sure he stays there. Whereas uh, on Scar's side of offense, Ura escapes and then we're back to neutral. So he's uh, jumping around with that jumpy, jump C. All right, good catch. Wow, catch him with the work. He's been trying to dash out. Oh, big job. Yeah, two and four for Sion, especially in this game, uh, has been 
destroy jumps. Looks like it. Right, and he, I want to see another command grab. I think it's. Coming. I really do want to see another. <laughs> right. Oh, doesn't even need. Hit him with that parry. Not watching his feet. Yeah, he's like this. All right, yeah, he's Kimbrel. He made that DP safe ish. Oh, I just get straight in the throw. All right, Scott is not adjusting here. Now we're I don't think he uh, took time to think about why he lost those other rounds. He just kind of went right back into it. Right back into it, yeah. Ura really putting into name his uh, nickname of Sonic the Chimp Fan. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of a lot of mashing, a lot of aggressiveness. Wow, I'm not sure how he got hit there. He just kind of got hit. Now I see him just keep up the pressure. Don't even go for like any mix-ups or anything. Just keep up those. That's very wow, good. Those are gonna hit. hurt. Got a nice knockdown here. Ooh, watch the low. 2C <laughs> sweep? 2C out of there. Oh no, what is Scott doing? Pushing those buttons. Command grab? It's coming, it's coming. Oh, yeah, nice jump this time, good. <laughs> nice sweep pickup. Yeah, he's trying to pick it up. Come wow, on, chat and Narcy, hope everyone is well. Add the first out of there. That would be in a terrible position if he didn't. That's now he has zero bar. I'm loving much. this aggressiveness from her right now. This is so scary. Oh, Jay kind of hit. Wasn't confident here. Now, Ernest stands in a range that I'll catch uh, jump outs. Where can just react to that? That's OTG. That it? That's it. How do you look like Oh, oh empty jump flow again. Empty jump flow. Takes the round. Wow, what a very fast 3 0. Go straight to Very fast 3 -0. So, we are going to see more of Scott. He's not out of the tournament yet here. Not yet, not for the count. So, next we're going to have Luz's finals. Java Shige versus more. All right. All right. Japan team came over. So, uh, they want to show. They're curious about us. They want to find out what we're doing. Deal, but apparently, Alice brought back some tapes. <laughs> some tapes. <laughs> all right. So, we're going to be seeing right, We're not going to see that top gear at all, are we? Probably wow. not. Wow, this barrier is around the start. That was a brave barrier. Oh, I'm not dropping these iron comps. Oh, he was ready for something. He held that a while, too. Bates the parry. Cat is on screen. Very good escape. Wow, that Whoa, anti air. Okay. We'll take those. Oh, I missed what time that by like a frame. Yeah, he's got almost four meter here. Now is he gonna burst out if he gets hit? Now he's gonna use that uh, arc drive. Very plus on block, doesn't matter. Yeah, doesn't matter how many plus fans you have if you have a DP. Arc is probably one of the few characters that can just convert off her DP. And especially since her damage is good, it's straight in the 3K into the corner. So getting um, the thing about the DP that I forgot to mention is that it's a 2-2 motion yeah. right, right here. So it'll all correct, right? Yeah, it all corrects. So any left right sub you do, you're taking 3K for it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Oh, wow. Face the carry then. Meter? Yep, gonna get a full combo off this, right? Yep. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Oh, that's good. Nice bunker. Wow, the cat did not shoot those ladies the right way. Overhead record. No. He's getting so many what a pick up. What a um the thing that's funny is since H was bunker is usually the most useful one since that's their best way of getting out. They can EX guard. Huh. Um C Moon has EX guard and whatnot, right? Which yeah. is a very strong defensive option. Ooh, was, what another DP? Is my leaving the like kill? A pixel off on that heat. He figured since uh Moai was in the corner that heat would hit, but yeah. no, he he knew that space was went right out. So Explosive game for Moai right there, deeping his way out of these setups, <laughs> trying to go away from the cat. <laughs> he looks They're having a moment here. I don't know you. This that character is. It gets to you, man. It gets, it gets in your head. Yeah, he won, and he needs time to think. Yeah. Oh, he's getting Good bunker? so much out of this bunker. He's not expecting it. You wouldn't expect it from Simo. You'd expect like blocking and the up starting, but no, I'm gonna hit my bunker. Wow, catches the jump out. I think you can actually jump cancel that uh, chainsaw. I've not tried myself. I don't think I've seen I know you can do it with his chair, and that's pretty much the equipment for mech. Oh, oh get uh, it gets the two hits there, so it can't get. Okay, a lot of J22s. Alright, here comes the pressure. Oh, oh, that that 2B. Trying to dash out. Yeah. That 2B is a very strong button. 
if I could compare it to anything, I'd say it's the Soul 2D of Melty Blood. It's it's a low profile and it's very deceptive compared to what that button does. The way it looks, you don't you wouldn't think it's that good, but it's, it's insanely strong. Okay, now I got the knockdown. Wow, just gets hit by the lasers. What was right, trying now to do? he's to medium with Cat. He's had enough of this mashing. Oh wow, nice conversion to that lightning. It's a hard knockdown off it. Right. He's gotta push. watch out for that, that uh, burst, I guess. I was just gonna say AC, but burst works too. There's still heat to heal a little bit left. Oh, nice. Very nice, very. Doesn't quite get anything off of him. So, Cat's in play. He's gotta watch out. Nice, Kai B. Now, one thing Jawa Shige is really good about is spraying off those uh, counter hits here. Like, he gets a huge combo every single time I've seen him hit one of those. Oh, oh, the cat man. didn't come out in time. We got interrupted. Yes, he should. He should have got one hand. Oh, oh, what is he's that one attack from Mark who had just <laughs> melted? Oh, oh my god, oh, oh, oh. boy, is a crazy man right here. A wild boy. He, he's trying to get the health back. He needs that health back. He had a uh, pixel. I want to see. I yeah, there you go. Just do it again. <laughs> again? I like it. I like it. Ooh, oh, nice catch. Doesn't quite get it. Nice cat. All right, there we go. Jabba Shige pulling it back in. He's had enough of more I'm actually. Oh, he's trying to stall in the air. Does it quite work? Oh, wow, chops it. Very job. Oh, man. Bad answer. He thought he jumped down, but had a double jump left in him. No, I think if he used the B version, that would have lasted longer and actually caught that. Yeah. Ooh, can't quite get too much out there. That's why it's a nice air race. I, I think he tried to hit the cat there with the uh, five firework. Kinda said they never get to use the big Good super that for me. Right, he's in the corner with no meter. Size for the fairy to the firework. Alright, cat. Big play. Nice. This is nice what I like fairy. to see. So, with the... Um, with shield, um, every single Maybe I should style stop has a shield that works differently. With H1, they automatically parry it, but it's one that you can kind of beat. With C Moon, they have two versions of a shield. Good DP. You have a um, you have EX shield, which lets you cancel into normals and specials at the same time. It either works, or a regular shield, which uh, normally happens, especially if you just hold, that lets you only cancel specials. So like if you're gonna if you're gonna see Moai playing Arc, if he shields, he can do two to be afterwards. Now, nice, nice catch! Nice catch with that chainsaw. That was such I was a good about that before. It looks like she can jump cancel that. Yeah. Let's move by that. Now he's laughing about something. I'm not sure what. I don't know he's, telling he's, him he's telling him to switch. He wants him to switch. But he said, get off that character. I wanted to switch too. Good call. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. Oh. Does he want the Nero? The Roa? Respite? Moe is letting Jabba choose his character for him. Yo, speak. Reese! I want to see some... Yeah. Reese! We're going to see some real speed here. All right, this is a, this is a character I actually play. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I play after the series. This is, I've, I've, I've actually seen this a little bit. This is going to be funny. Oh, man. Yeah, crowd's going wild. All right. They like this Everyone's character. loving it. I like this character. People aren't expecting it. So this character right here, Reese Mike, you're going to be saw the big oppressive buttons. Uh, that 60 hop kick is plus for the really? most part, but it depends on the distance. A four frame 2A and a very big JC. Very Ooh. big. Disjointed button. Left, right, mix up. Blast them. Wow, like that right there. Yes. So what, what, what's going to happen now? These, <laughs> these very so good. insane. So Pretty what's going to happen right here is um, now Java Shige has to worry about Reese's jump C and her JB. She has a very long poke in the air. Her JC dish points very well. It's a good like air to ground. And she explodes that very explosive damage. Wow, looks like that. he has yeah. an answer to that cat pressure right yeah. there. That's no, a, Jeff, um, that one right there is a reversal. JC, A, 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 air is throw. Oh, Almost. one pixel. Big start. Keep him on toes with that lightning. He's got to be careful with those uh, cat assists. That has a lot of recovery on... Uh, JB, nice. Very oh, nice. JB. So, yeah, this character is... Uh, By swinging a cello, I'll just like, pick buttons and slow it, I guess. Uh, I've had someone jokingly call her, like, Hockeyman in a way. Kinda, I can see the resemblance. Probably not as like crazy, Combo's but in, in some swag. semblance. Oh, this is gonna hurt. 
very short combos, but for long range distance. And every time she does that bunker move, you can super jump and get a free safe jump off of it. Really? Yeah, you just super jump forward and like JC. 2-4-B. Yes. Big combo here. Oh, oh missed it. Kind of yeah, nice burst. Forgot the micro walk back. My freezing mid first. Alright, looks like he's gonna try to deal with these big yeah. jump buttons with that parry. That big poke out right there is a 5B button. So <laughs> that's a 5B, Whoa. wow. Yeah. So you'll see a lot of dash 5B, JB, and JC. It's really hard for uh, Java to get the cat pressure going because he just gets hit out of the cat call. Yeah, since. Alright. Good catch. Every time Moai does that 2-3-6-C um, that C right there, that hop in the boom up in the air, that's yeah. a reversal for the most part. It's a pretty dangerous one. to grab the game by the small hands. It gets a lot of stuff and opens up for a left-right mix-up. At so times like high Moai low. does not have to... Nice catch. Do Full that screen, cat. super jump. That's okay. Yeah, that's nice plus, you gotta respect that. I don't think Java has much experience against this character. Because he's trying Because he's kind of getting hit by stuff. There was a player out there, but he became a married man, so... <laughs> yeah, they don't, they don't I know how that is. <laughs> yeah. Being able to move before round start is crazy. Two and one. Like yeah, that. There's the answer. There it is. That Every was a really time. good Left, right? swap just for that. Ooh. Yeah, her 2A is very stubby, so any other button that uh, comes out here is going to be hard to deal with. Okay, here come the uh, robots. Nice shield move. Never mind. Yeah. As mentioned from last game with the shields, the f characters have probably the strongest shield. One of the strongest shields in the game because they can... Uh, all right, there goes a good game right there from all, for uh, <laughs> Shigate. The F-Moon characters, wow. when they parry, they have a bigger window, and they can... We got some intense handshakes. It's a telling of the match to come from this handshake right here. They're not going to choose it. All right, uh, <laughs> I like to stay shoot. This is Lurk, not even stage. Very good song. What's the song this game good? Oh, amazing soundtrack by Raito. Nice though. parry, wow. Ooh, wow! Tries to parry right back, but that's multi hit. You gotta get all the hits before you do something. Very strong knockdown hit. Wow, it just goes with the lightning from the cat. Uh, in the right space. Oh, good run up. Yeah? Yeah, he's not letting him uh, hit the cat. He's trying to stay in his face. This is what you gotta do. Ready for that bucket. So that's what I was talking about before. He has a lot of alternatives to blocking, but it uh, looks like Squad is ready for that. Going in very strong with a perfect on stream. That was a nice air to air Ooh, wow, trying to play wow, the DP back. Works. Doesn't quite work. Yeah, Squad has been doing his homework, it looks like. He knows a lot of counters for this matchup. Okay, Cat is a problem. Cat is in play. Oh, you can't air block that. You cannot yeah, air block that. that. Yeah. I like what Scott's doing. No, he's EX starting a lot because the farther back the cat pushes out, the wider of a gap you have to do something about it. Because when it's closer up, it's gapless. And you don't want to deal with that, especially with a character like this. You really don't. That's I've seen a decent amount of perfects happen. I guess when you get wow. schmixed in the wow. corner, it can wow. happen. Wow, ADP. Scott has been doing his homework. He's going to college. He's getting an MBA. Oh, you oh, can't take that. Two, three, <laughs> four, five. That call? Yeah, he... Good counter hits. He knows what to do. You know how many times he's used that super? Has to be at least 20 by this point in turn. Nice wow. ID. Scott thought he was great though, grab. Wow. Amazing shields, but... Ah, uh, can't help it. <laughs> yeah, even if you shield the cat, it's hard to deal with. That 5A looked like it was meant to be 80 from the, from the looks of it. It's hard to be ready for everything. You're gonna have some execution errors. Yep. All right, what's he gonna do? He's not gonna take the pressure. I know that. I guess he is. Never mind. Got over one right there. Yeah, he gets caught jumping Scott's out. That's almost at max. That's a really that dumb, the first dumb time thing about that. Say so it's air and you have to get a robot to do it. Oh, yeah, nice you can't attack. attack. Yeah, yeah take care about that. Mm. The schmix turn. He has it. This is gonna hurt. Nice, uh, almost 5k here. Activate so you get the health back. No, he's in max mode. He's going to use that, uh, that neck raid. Right? Nice, here, counter hit. Never mind. Schmix. All right, Cat's in play. Is this a sign I should play Cat Mecha Squad? Back. Cat's back oh, in the back. Is it Max from Squad? <laughs> All right. Finishes, Squad. Oh. Takes on game one.
Now this is uh, not like Scott's other games. He's actually taking the first game, showing a strong lead here. Yep. Playing it very well. He's, he's been waiting for this match. Well, we don't know who the yeah, other characters are yet. most out of all of them. Probably because this character is almost like a complete unknown here, right? Yeah. Don't really play. Oh, we've had people play the character in the past, but it's been like, you know, you don't really see much. There's a lot of different characters that are popular, uh, it turns out, from uh, JP to NA. Like over here, there's a lot of like Nanaya, Aura, a lot yeah, of like other great. characters, maybe some other ones scattered around Satsuki and whatnot. He is like, he's been three three on that very yeah. Look at the cat just standing there uh, while she gets punched. That one's got to find an answer to that parry because uh, it's really messing them up. The one thing that's going to be tough right now... Oh, oh wow! Oh, 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 oh that doesn't quite work. There is. I think he expected the uh, cat there, but he didn't do it. He kind of baited it out. Nice. Mug rather. Okay. Now it looks like maybe that's not close. I thought it was. Talking about that, that 4.1k. Wow, oh, wow, my wow. lord. That, that hit way behind. That's Aaron Blockwell. He barely got out of there. Wow. Oh, nice, JP. Good. Stop, this God. is what this game is known for. Oh, the cat. The cat's out of the back. Oh, gunshot mash. Wow, but he's willing to challenge that. Yeah. Great. Plus. Oh, he knows it's plus. Looks like he knows this matchup. Ooh, oh, good bugger out. So I like to see. Oh, nice. Come back. Yeah, that was Shige. Actually oh, does gold not there from that drop wow. combo. Where the heat? Ooh, bad space on that. Yeah. Kia. Oh, oh kind of drops it. Let's get some knockdown. Back dash out. Wow. Goes to the empty jump to beat out the parry. Very smart. Yeah, not second. Ooh, Good show, grab. Oh, no, that was so smart. Oh, he actually makes it. All right. Nice, nice. All right, strong second game for Scar as well. Scar is just controlling this match. He yeah. knows the answer to everything that Java is doing. What also is making it like a little bit tough is that um, Neko, like C Nekomek does not do as much Three damage. Even our hard combos are hard to get off, whereas CC on is straight damage off the gate. For, especially for a C-Moon character, that's going to be very tough. Yeah, for a team, uh, character like Sion that just controls the match so much, having that much damage is huge. You get a real nice combo here. Ooh, tech out of it. Doesn't expect the CC. No, he's burying up his pressure though. He's just not going uh, normal into the cat anymore. He's kind of mixing up. Wow. He is really sorry. He knows all the jumping habits this guy is doing. Now. All right, good heat right there in the gap. Right. Oh, since cat wow, too far. He just gets hit out of it. Oh, unfortunate job, but it's not too bad. <laughs> kind of bad away. Cats in play. You yeah, here we go. That's all I can see about the cat. Nice, 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 nice show. Now he knows he needs to jump C to hit that cat, but that parry is right there. Yeah. He's not just gonna empty jump because he needs that cat to be yeah. uh be a factor. <laughs> just like that. Expecting a lot of respect from Scarlet, but he said he's getting a lot of disrespect. See when you study your opponent like this, you can kinda just disrespect them because you already know their habits before you even go into the match. Yeah, you watch out for what they want to do. Oh, nice cross up. Yeah. Ooh. A -A. Nice. Put him back A -A. in the corner. Hey, hey, this is gonna hurt. Oh, almost dead. Good reduce. Uh, shoot oh, him. gunshot. Oh, strong. Shot in the lane. Wow. wow. See on fishing in the we way it's We got US goes. in Grand Finals. All right, so US in Grand Finals. So here we go. I've seen videos all the time. All, all the time, yeah. <laughs> I'm something too. There's a big one second, which is what Red Melon hosted. Really, I think Red Melon himself tried to make it, but could. Hey, so in nice to see you streaming. So we're gonna be seeing a lot of that. At Big Bonjour. All right, so they're button checking right now. Scott has been known for playing H Ryugi. I this is a character I started with when I played uh, this version. Ryugi. Yeah. A lot she of people do. So cool. <laughs> Dude, she's so cool. People like the Cardinal Kill Kai movies. The way the character looks, her move set looks very flawless. Like it's she's so cool. But I just she's love like the, the knife pickup loops. And yes. The fact that you can actually catch the knife in the, in the air. air. Oh, that. <laughs> 
there, that has sold so many people on it. It's kind of like funny. There's a a big joke about that character called the Prophecy, yeah. where it's <laughs> people pick that character because like, oh, this character is cool. But when they find out how like she's, execution heavy she really is, like, hard, they just yeah. they kind of like they disappear after a week, and we never see them again. And it's so it's so depressing. I learned those combos, and then uh, I know, don't I really like, know most of these harder. characters. I, stop. I don't want to get tired oh, before age no, thirty. Not. Yep. All right. Oh, well, there you go. It's us. Now they play before. Let's see if he can uh, run it back. Wow. Next catch. The whip punish. Hey, he, hey, hey, he definitely hey, thought hey. about what he needed to do here. All right. Catch Scott's him. ready for my. I'm oh, sorry. Her. <laughs> He's getting ready for her to leave. Satsuki so specific combo. Nice oh, bunker out of there. All right. He is way better at dealing with the uh, Earth pressure in this game. Like, maybe he was uh, sandbagging a little in Winner's Files. Maybe he wanted him to think he was going to do something. Nice, TC. This is based on an anime. Ooh, grab. Yep. Well, if grab. SF2 new wow. chain oh, legs was still touch. kicking, you could bend yeah, Cammy. On a visual Back novel. Think about HK, because you got to be ready for that person all the time. Oh, oh wow. Out. Very nice Whip. match out. Right. Catching with the overhead, I think it's trying to dash out. This combo is going for her. He has four meters. He's going to make a count. Tech chase. Ooh. Oh, OK. That was, that was tricky. Turn. That was tricky. Several like that. I expected a, a parry from her there, but I guess he wasn't ready. Oh, I'm scared. Her just standing there is intimidating sometimes. Oh, big drop. Her seems a little, uh, a little off his game here. He's kind of dropping a lot yeah, of stuff. Yeah, he hasn't been able to go as aggressive as one six after right there. Oh, I guess he's uh, adjusting now. OTG setup. Okay, cool. Scott's so here. So much now. better at dealing with this pressure this time. Yeah. Ooh, doesn't quite get it. Chase a little too far there. Oh, that was big. He ended that very close there. Probably was trying to throw burst, but it also killed Strahd, luckily, so. Nice, this is now that and uh, tire jumpy. It's a good back and forth from both players. Definitely. Uh, this is a way better match than uh, before, for sure. Yeah. Better not going down that fight. He gets a better knockdown if he enters that, that close to the ground, looks like. Ooh, catches him uh, pushing forward. Cal loops. Oh, you can't take right. that. Two, three, four, five. Round throw? I want to see another one. Oh, he oh no, nice, 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 nice. Er, heals back. Set up. Wow, I want to block that. <laughs> okay, space each other out. Maybe. A lot of jumpy. Wow, he almost punched that first. The heat activation. Nice carry. Nice. Scott's been going a lot of uh, anti-air parries now. He's not letting anyone ID on him. No. Ooh. Good JB. All right, he's, he looks like he's a little nervous here in Grand Finals. He doesn't seem to, uh, he doesn't usually drop that. Nice Ooh. overhead. The thing about that is a lot of overheads are charged moves. The parries are just like a straight up normal, so it's hard to react to. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, he clashed the heat with that. That was such a good use of 5C. Is anyone's game right now. There That's we go! Me. You can't, Jason. you cannot instant air dash at this man. Let's go. His reactions are like level 11 right now. They're so good. Super Saiyan 3, Every time going Uro even goes further in. beyond. Every time Uro goes in for an IED, like those are fast like, like multi buddies. Spray for the shield 5A, which is so strong. Let's see if Uro does some like uh, empty air dash stuff now. Just throw him off. Oh no, he's still pushing those buttons in the air. He's not scared. I think LSD and Nick Oriente. Oh, that was good right there. A lot of baiting for that DP and a lot of baiting for shields. If he can do that, then it just could very much lean to her side. Even if he'd base it, it looks like Scott's not going to stop DP. Okay, nice 5C. I really like this pressure with that uh, charge jump B and then catch the jump out. Really smart. 
You gotta be careful. Oh, nice, JB. Wow. The move, like, even while I don't know Spanish, though. Backwards, so you can change Google Translate. Which is important and Smiley don't face. Like, since you can okay. drift like, like Smash Brothers. Yeah, you can <laughs> drift when you jump. So. Yeah. Zion is hard to play yeah, online. The somersault is a holding seat. Yes, bro. Almost 6K here. That is huge in this game. Yeah, he's trying to back off, but like, uh, Ur just knows how to catch him. OTG. He's been catching people backing off of Bayley's face for so long that he knows how to do this. Yeah, All right, huge combo. K. Wow. I expected a heat nice activation. Grab. I'm surprised he's he didn't do it. He's going for shorter resets to the IEs this time. Wow. Chicken blocking. Very nice. Alright, he's being so patient right now. I expect to see a DP soon. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Right there. <laughs> like, people can only block for so long before doing something. That shield DP. Scrubs. Parries is so good right now. Oh, Great so block. Wow. Here. Nice shield. <laughs> Do it again. Scott, not afraid of DP. Even with his right, whole life. This is... is that it? That's it. All right, there we go. Good comeback from Scott. They got 200 meter too. In a really good position. Yeah, Scott's gonna keep doing that DP until Moai tells him to I mean, Gara tells him to stop. Oh, man. Get my sassy to yourself. Oh, that's scary. Now, I notice he's trying to chicken block the jumpings now instead of trying to parry. He's yeah. trying to go off Ura. Make him think he's not gonna shield it. In case he goes to the end jump. That's back, that's right, that's right. Oh man, Scott jumped back into the corner. He's his back turning combo. Shout out to Kira. Fight! Here come the command girls. Hitting the land in a while. So Scott was... Oh, nice goal throw. Oh, that was a big air throw. Nice hey. goal bar. Let's see some uh, usage hey. of this meter hey. right here. Yeah, catch the tech. Nice wow. overhead. Jay that wow, so Jay 24 clean. seen overhead. Good stuff from Scott. All right, Scott just Popping needs one more. Popping out for USA. I want to see Scott win. Can Scrod either Ura takes his back, starts going to climb, or Scrod wins this and earns the title to see Otaku champion again. This will be his, oh man, like third or fourth time. Three pieces are really hard to do. Wow, hey, 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 he hasn't even been doing that uh, two seater get out in a while. I, I, was I really want to see more of that. That move right there is so powerful. The match is out. He's such a match is out. He doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know Scott is feeling himself. When he starts mashing out like that, on uh, wake up. He's not scared. All right, we have heat. Will we see a bite? No, oh, Eric doesn't care. Oh, so grab. Since I haven't seen a Canadian oh, yet. Oh, nice. He's, low. He's ready for him. Not dead. See? I want to see him just do heat. Oh. Text in the... Nice throw. Oh, oh, right. go. Go. Okay, Ur is not taking this. He's not taking this no, disrespect from Scott enough. at all. Ooh, this going to be huge. Uneasy face. Knock him down, knock him down. All right, Ur does not want Scott to reset oh, this bracket. Yeah, this guy is just like up back and out of his country now. I think only us in Japan yeah. were represented in this tournament. Shoot him on, wake up. <laughs> Watch your feet. Nice throw. He's getting early, expecting enough to go for that, like, uh, dash him. Hey, Why? hey, well, hey, in top hey, eight at least. hey, there you go. Gunshot, a plus. Ooh, oh, what was and that? that was really scary. I like that. Every time Scott jumps forward, it's to beat that two and four. And Zurich is moving forward from it. That's all he can really do. Nice stuff. Wow. Good air pressure. Can't do that jump. He's gonna do command grab. Oh, he ran out immediately. Ran out. Good block. Wow. He got the no. block. That was really scary. Hockey. Smiley face. All right. All right. Nice. Nice stuff. Not gonna let Scott reset this. All right. Zurich so takes game one. Oh, sorry. Game three. Game three. Game, three. Now, game one for him. Game one for him. Yep. Wow. Wow. What wow. Are you, that's wow. a melty wow. blood wow. right wow. there. <laughs> Welcome to melty blood. That's gonna happen a lot. We're gonna see more of this. Good JBs. He's starting to play a little bit of a distant game. We can keep Scrod in that corner. Wall him off. It's smart to say that distance too, because he can't just get DP'd like he's been doing. Yeah. 
That's a scary pair. Nice! Okay, he is uh, so throwing out a lot of more of these tri jumpies. It's working out for him. Nice! Oh, that was huge. Alright, Squad doesn't even care. He's gonna keep doing it. He gets a big combo off that DP. Yeah, again, that was a sexy specific combo. Day 2 and 4? Seems like kind of a bad matchup just for that. Ooh, Ur is not making so it look like a bad So tired for some though. reason, but I'm gonna be awake oh, all night. Oh, Oliver! Oh, he's good! Oliver is too. Ooh! Yeah, it doesn't attack. Doesn't attack. He knows now. He's plus! Nice 5A! Oh. That was so good for her! Okay, I want to see some uh, run up throw after that gunshot next time, because he's trying to throw out that parry. Yeah. Alright, another JC. Going back into the corner, yeah. 5.2 round start. Make yourself a coffee. Ooh, that was big. Ooh, well done, Be careful doing that. Okay, how's he gonna hand up in the air? Nice! Very fast shot from Scrod, good stuff there. That jump C is really good from Seattle. Yeah. What solidified I that really was one. like, you could, because since burst blows you back, I you can tech another. after it. But usually Fingers. people who burst are like ready to catch you for that. Yeah. Ooh, whiff on that, uh, that punch. Yeah, Scar is picking the perfect places to match out. Yeah. yeah he knows not to tech that anymore. What he are you so doing? No, he's not having it. Coffee <laughs> time. I've been that. That. so upset. The bravest man alive. Yeah, he's not respecting you that much, Scar. Yeah, if there's a reset here, you will get coffee. Okay. The only turn on this is the laser turbo. You're still Mingos. Uneasy face. Alright, he's got full bar. Pick up. What's he gonna do with it? Ooh, big drop. Ur doesn't seem to know how to do a squad just jumping out like that. Oh! Besides chasing this down like this. Kill, but... I wanna see a DP. He's playing very patiently now. He's just waiting for Scott to get out. He's letting him leave, but he's walling him off. Yes, yeah, spacing is really good for catching that jump out. Yes, oh, nice really that's really for that overhead. I have to be up in like five hours. Like ten. But nice I'm having a hot payback. chocolate. Smiley face. All right, two two. Scott's gotta stay in this. All right, Scott's gotta get this back. He can get this reset. Right, if that's so smart of him. He's taking some time to think. Taking some yep. time to calm down because there's a lot of scrambles there. He's yeah. kind of dropping some stuff. It's he's he's starting to realize that. Ura's kind of had enough. He's uh, adjusted himself ready. He's been letting Scrawl, he's been playing it patiently. Instead of getting aggressive, he's been letting Scrawl do his thing just so he can get him okay. in the right situation to hang himself. There's a head nod. He knows what he's doing. Talking about something right now. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like when you talk to each other when it's 2 2 and then it's. SH Eno Trans might be the might throw him off. He might be thinking about something else like, uh, what is this guy saying? I think he's asking for a stage. Stage? Oh, he's not gonna pick that stage. So he told him he's not gonna do it. Oh, hey, I like Cathedral. Shout out to Katy uh, Perry. This is his favorite stage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know some of my homies love this. This plays. Uh, this plays like a, in the trailer for the theme version. Yeah, a symphonic version of the uh, original Melty Blood theme, Blood Blood Drain. Yeah, I love this. Yep. Oh, Blood great match out. Scott is looking to take this last game, reset it. I want to see him do it. Crowd wants to see him do it. Like, we want to see more Melty Blood. We don't want it to end here. Yeah. Oh, nice five wow. C. That button is wow, so powerful what it does. It's a big hammer. Get out of your button. Now, don't. Wow. Nice go, <laughs> There you go. What the beat. Er needs a little bit more meter to get that heat. No. Watch your feet. You got to block that low. Got to hold your toes. S-H-E no S to chicken don't and deny honest, The overhead is always a factor. So sometimes you just stand block in anticipation. Nice pick up. Drift mix up. Nice. Okay, Jay. Right here with four meter willy burst. No burst. Probably not worth it. Ooh, the first time he's used that. He's been doing good shots like good shots tool champions. for in case anyone tries to play it safe in the back. Listen, no, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm running here. Oh, Kessler's trying to take out the burst. But overhead, he, he was standing there in that overhead. He was blocking last second. I don't think he was expecting that. Run up overhead is not something you'd expect, you know? 
Oh, DP in the air. Okay, that works. I'm plus. Run off throw. Wow, face the parries. Woo! Hey, All right, good set USA on the board. That's it. USA. Coffee We're time. staying in the board right now, so Scott should be able to Ryan reset this. Okay, SEA Proxima, so final. USA, USA. Uneasy face. I'm pro Japan. Hi. The look of disappointment in his face, lol. Lo. Dupus Barakay Ghana Japon. Mop top is mad hype lol. The Japanese dude looks that scared. Little bit of I think that he is hiding very, a trick. He's got to be careful now. There's a lot Ooh, of Scott stuff coming out a little bit. Really doing it well. He doesn't want to overextend though. Yeah. He's got to be careful here. Er is thinking right now. He's got to think. All right, this guy was able to run it back to me finally. I almost had it back for that W, but now I'm holding an L. Maybe he was uh, hiding his power level. Chino. Yeah. Where he brings <laughs> it Paso out. Yeah. 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 Poor Delonte. I'd love to see that. There's like, because Scott himself, like at first, like, you know. We had an adjustment coming out from Ura. Ura adjusted, but now Scrot's adjusting back. And that's like what's so good about fighting games in general, especially Melty, but so much can change off of one hit. Oh, that's amazing games. grand final. Just because yeah. of that. Yeah, How so do the good. rounds work? Is it first to five to games? I just couldn't have gone any... Ooh, takes out of the corner. It doesn't get hit by the uh, tech back. Nice. Each game is first to two rounds. Back. Not gonna get too much off that. Fuck her up. Hey, the basic Satsuki mix up. And two thirds games for a set, except winner's finals, right, loser's right, finals, out, and, and grand finals is three fifths. Right, so it's grand it. finals Round set two right to now. I wanna scrot. Zero to zero. Showing that USA is still really strong in this game. Yeah, doing it strong for America. Scrot is such a good player. The way, the way he can adjust himself, how strong he is, how much he's been playing. The dedication, it's, he loves this game. I know? love his adaptability. Yeah. Oh, really bad gun shot, but he has a burst. He knows uh, that's a low risk if you have burst. Oh, 5.5. So it's still close. Got uh, the auto heat. Ooh, guy cancel out. That's that work. Oh, GG. This is such a specific combo. <laughs> We're not gonna look yeah, right here. Huge that OTG. I think it's what I've learned from game. Ultimate lately is I enjoy just playing rank the most. Yeah, he jumps out. Ooh. Right out. All right. All right, getting started here. Wow. Double I don't think you expected that to hit. Have weird wow. bracket luck situations and are also oh, stressful. Oh, he's trying to bait out the command grab there. Oh, yeah, just doing dash. But rank is just forward. pure fun. All right, good air blocks. Wow, they actually beat that. Plus. Yeah, he, he has an answer to those uh, plus things there. Wow. But, uh, Scott, TV actually that. running at him. Does not want to let... All right. Plus yeah, first. Expecting too much. Er, keeps Rank on trying to like, jump back yeah. TV and Scott's not oh, letting Oh, good match! He had the tech punish. Uh, yeah. And he just wasn't ready for it. Yeah. Yeah, Uro's been trying to play the fade back game, and Scross not having it. This it time was he's nice watching some wow. ranks strive on your stream the other day. <laughs> I'm running these on you. <laughs> oh, 
dodge off the air there. I hadn't seen much of the game before. Alright, get conversion. Oh. Get into the corner. Yeah, you can just jump out of that. Smart, smart. This is what I wanted to see before. Hey, nice thanks, hit. Strive makes me so salty though, lol. Oh, very job from Strive. I haven't seen them drop that combo once. Doesn't matter though. It's that American reset. Hey, yeah. Wow. Wake up the man grab. I guess what that's natural. Hey, Just gotta be go. zen about it. Alright, game one of the reset goes straight to Scrot. Two more and USA is officially the best in Melty Blood. <laughs> I'd, I'd wish we could say that, man. As, as strong as these people are, man, there are nah, so many... Nah, it's mostly just Scrot. Yeah, 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 it's just Scrot. Uh, we've, like... We, uh, a lot of us, especially like, like me, myself, a lot of people out there me. in the crowd, some friends, you know, Kato, you know, the KFL, struggle is what makes it a worthwhile and activity. We've been doing a lot of and we've been doing our best to like rise as much as we can. Quarter you know, so the Discord represent. itself has been like doing a lot of work. Look, we want to beat Scrot. You know, we're kind of tired of seeing the top eight. You know, I understand what that's like. Yeah. 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 Y
Gus, Gus, Gus! I wasn't that good, but I remember just keeping back and putting arrow after arrow into my brother playing Nightmare. You're still talking 2019 champion! At Harry Toface, you gotta learn to play fun tag. Let's go! You get so mad. Yeesh. Oh, yeah. Lol, GG. That was a blowout. He was coming from losers, so it was like my version of fun tech is complete good. dominance over my enemy lol. But yeah, um I mean my man had all the momentum. GG. The new Melty Blood rollback night code. I'm not gonna buy it on the switch, so I'm probably gonna actually have I'm looking opponents. Forward to your but... dread and monkey. Not this. That's okay. Uh yeah, it's gonna be crazy in October. It should be a lot happening. Um, I'm gonna be a fucking gamer in October. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I. Honestly, Soul, I think I might actually deep dive into Type Lumina. Yes. Like, I. It's probably not the most fun thing to watch. It's probably, for like a spectator's perspective, it's probably not as fun as Metroid Dread or Super Monkey Ball. But from a player perspective, it's probably better Bring than Dread and Monkey Ball. Get your right. monster energy in bulk. So it's like... Yeah, I don't know. I just... I'm getting the urge to go hard, I guess. I, th I think I have like a decent amount of confidence that I can be a pretty fiend. pretty good at it, even though I'm completely new to to the genre kind of. Give er. All you need Smiley is face. all you need is passion and and a little bit of autism, and then you can go a long way. I think. Get you one of those hitboxes. Yeah, I don't know. That's it the problem. I don't go know. VR. The input device. <laughs> I don't know what to use for it. Marilyn Manson. Let's get some background music or something. Lol. Lol. XD If you practice this game, you should stream. Oh yeah, I'm going to be I'm going to be streaming. Yeah, so, um... Yeah, I was thinking, like, okay, so the super jump input, for example, it's it's a 2 and 9, right? So... Let's say you wanted to do that input really fast. If it was, like... Apparently the high jump input, like, or a neutral jump that goes higher than normal, is 2-8. So in that, in that case, I think you could move... Of coins, or is it how many you have? I think you could move your uh, index finger over to the S key and press box. W. But if you're trying to also press forward, right? Then it kind of makes me wonder, like... Like... Keys for dedicated diagonals, and, you know, I start to wonder about stuff like that. Because it's like, in my mind, it, it seems like super jump might be an awkward input with a keyboard. Map up to spacebar. Map up to spacebar, okay. Uh, so, let's say I'm using WASD and up is spacebar. 
Yeah, that would work. I could just use my thumb and my index finger. Or just get a GD hitbox. Well, I don't even know what which ones are good. Or like... And you know, they're all like $200, right? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know what the market is like for that stuff. If anyone has an idea... That'd be cool. TBH, I kinda wish they had a uniform rule in tournaments where everyone used the same controller. Um, I don't. Buy that $50 but make I don't really see myself going. And see if you like I'm not gonna go to tournaments. I'm just gonna play online, right? See, I, I feel like. I don't think I would like a stick, but actually what you said about mapping up to spacebar, so spacebar is jump, that, that actually seems fucking legit. That suggestion you made actually seems really good to me, because then I got my thumb. I guess the only question, really smart. the only other thing though would be a single button that is doing diagonal, diagonal inputs. I don't know if you'd want such a thing, but something to think about. Yeah, so ASD space and then I don't know JKL O or something or like I I think I might be a keyboard player. Dedicated diagonals are only useful for command input games. Yeah it probably won't make a big difference. Probably not not something that I need to worry about. I feel like my hair is too poofed out or something. It would be off for Tekken, but Melty is all 236 inputs. Yeah, 236 on keyboard seems really good. Like, you press S, D, and then you release S. Right? Bam! Really fast. Uneasy face. Right? Yeah, I think I might just be a fucking keyboard warrior. Do I need to like cut some of this hair off? What the hell is going on? What do you use to play Tekken? You need to go to a hair cutter. Nah, I do it myself. What do you use to play Tekken? What input device? Do you use a stick for it? I like your hair. And Strive also, do you use a stick for that too? Skyward Sword HD looks good. Standard fight stick. Sanwa lever. Sanwa buttons. I use controller, but I suck. Box standard. Z Tensky, it just sounds like you haven't tried to actually deep dive a game like that. More so a casual play. Yeah, the Sanwa buttons seem pretty nice, but I do have this mechanical keyboard, and I think, uh. Yeah, I think ASD space JKL. Maybe that's all I need. I don't know. Or I probably need one more key. Maybe the semicolon. Yep. 
don't discount the fun factor of your input device. Five sticks are fun. Yeah, I don't know. Hitboxes are too sweaty for me. Keyboard is like a... A mechanical keyboard is kind of like a... It's just like a different kind of hitbox with maybe less big and spaced out buttons or something. I don't know. It seems fine though. Lol, I guess I'm a sweaty sweaty VOI. I like them in the old days on Street Fighter cabinets. Maybe I can map W and space to jump, but I don't know why I would use W. Maybe that doesn't make sense. They're not gonna beat Street Fighter 2. Could you make it so the voice of every I user think it could is work. slightly different in pitch law? What the hell are you talking about? They already are, but I think that I could actually make them even more apparent that the pitches and the pitches and the, the rate of speaking. Actually, I have ideas for improvements to the text to speech. Like, where would I go to find the best hitbox controllers? Because really like, like is it, isn't Walt, hitbox a brand? Since he's a regular in turnies. It's a cool feature. Reminds me of stuff you see on Nico Nico or whatever. Right. Wait. Look at this. Wait. https colon slash slash www.hitboxarcade.com slash products slash ps4 hyphen pc hyphen hit hyphen box https colon slash slash www.hitboxarcade.com slash products I guess go review hunting It's a brand but you can also buy a PCB and buttons and make your own controller Really easily actually Never I'm not so much a do-it-yourself person, I think. Alright, so... Okay, so this controller... It's kind of like what you said about... You like, this looks pretty own. good, right? It looks pretty good. I don't good. think you need to solder or anything. Think of it as programming, but for IRL. I'm not much of a... I'd rather just buy it. Like for example, I didn't I didn't make my own Arduino input device for N64. I just bought one, right? I could I mean, this might be a really good controller. Like that looks that looks pretty damn appealing to me. Like it could work for sure. Like it could be is it superior to keyboard? I think it probably is, right? So, I mean, if I was gonna... It's really I good. think it looks really good to me. Like, that's probably what I would use, actually. That might be the best controller. No wonder why it's called Cheatbox. But are there other are there other hitbox? Look at the hitbox cross up. I think I just saw that, oh, right? You are literally on it yeah. End. Yeah. Yeah. 
Are there other... Like, look, I found one for $49. That's a different brand, right? Like, there's other brands. Like, look. Oh, this URL is so long. I'm getting the itch to rank. HTTPS colon slash slash retro arcade crafts dot com slash products slash RAC hyphen J five zero zero B hyphen all hyphen buttons hyphen arcade hyphen fight hyphen stick hyphen game hyphen controller hyphen hitbox hyphen joystick hyphen for hyphen PC hyphen USB HTTPS colon slash slash retro arcade crafts dot com slash product Cross up has a stick. I'm assuming this doesn't have the Sanwa buttons. Because people add buttons that macro inputs on the side. I think uh, hitbox stick has like Sanwa button. Like there are a lot of knockoff. There are a lot of knockoff products like this. I just. https colon slash slash www.etse.com slash listing slash eight four five three seven six two three zero slash fightboard hyphen mx https colon slash slash www.etse.com slash listing slash eight four five three seven six two three don't buy something cheap without looking at a good review on yt that stuff can have weak Flesh cases. I should add HTTP to the block list. Flexi cases asterisk. Flash case law. And it takes a bit to break in a new controller, so you'll drop inputs at first. Isn't that ATSE one just a keyboard? It's like a keyboard that's like. You know, it's like a little bit curved or something, maybe that's more ergonomic. Honestly, that, that little, like, keyboard thing on Etsy looks fucking epic. That looks fucking cool. It's so tiny. But it looks like... It could completely work. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you want something that's kind of heftier that you can set in your lap, though? Do you still drink Soylent? No. Enjoy your hand cramp law. Get yourself a steering wheel and pedals. Go for the challenge. He'll try it I made Q3 players suck to follow me you play dirty. You want something more spread out and heavier so it doesn't move around on your lap. Yeah, the actual hitbox from the site looks best so far, maybe. It's fucking $200, and you have to pre-order it? DDR dance pad. Restock expected by the end of July, or beginning of August. I guess I have time to get in, right? 
Does this Anytime make sense? I get a hand cramp, I slam it onto a hard surface a few times and it goes away. Also, what is Just that connector? Like, how does it connect to the PC? Yeah, for crew ascend blast. I don't think GameCube is ideal for multi blood. I'm kidding, OFC. Just buy a brook board and a grip of Sanwa buttons. The next bar. Try use. There's one on eBay for 150 Canadian. A lot of bike sticks use a printer cable. Not sure what that is American. Yes, to Mama. Vera. I guess I'll just like look up reviews of the. I mean, I'm sure it's fine, right? I just careful though. There seem to be a lot of clones. Can we just get rid of this dupe guy? If you want to see what a top player uses, check Justin Wong, he has a favorites video. Yeah, let's hook me up with some like fucking Jay Wong or Daigo recommendations. <laughs> let's like go there. Uh, why don't you post the, um, the YouTube video ID into the chat so I can get there. Aren't they Mad Cat's shills? <laughs> they, yeah, they might be. Are they still with Mad Cat's? Or is that over? I'm gonna sleep now, have a good night though. Daigo Mad Cat's is gone lol. Daigo is all in on Hitbox, I think. Yeah, Daigo has been playing Hitbox Street Fighter V and I believe claims that it's superior to using a stick. Honestly, the $200 hitbox looks pretty good. Should I do that? That's uh, it's a little bit of a commitment. Mixbox, Itoki stick. I looked up the mix box. It looks like it has keyboard keys for the directions, but then like Why not bu just keyboard? buttons. Keyboard oh, works. It tricks. definitely works. I think it's either keyboard or a hitbox controller for me. And hitbox would be like $220 after shipping. And Bulix. YouTube chat eats YouTube girls lol. You have to post only the video ID.
Oh, I see it in your Discord. Gotta post just the ID, the end of the URL. This is a good song. It ain't that too long. <clears throat> uh, really? Doesn't make sense. Anyway. She did looks like it got filtered. I see, let me just get this going. Oh yeah, we're watching this. This is what we're watching. In live chat. That's shocking that they got filtered. They're catching on. Hello. まあ、ぶっちゃけガイルは一ボックスの方が強いよね。っていうかね、あのー、なんだ、えっと、和歌、ゼクの和歌をやって思ったけど、やっぱり、慣れたら、慣れたらコマンドキャラも多分ヒットボックスだね、このゲーム。少なくともこのゲームは。間違いなく言えることとしても、機動力が違うから、前捨てもそうだし、歩きの滑らかさが全然違うから、もう前入れっぱと後ろ入れっぱしかしませんみたいな人だったらあんまり影響ないけど地上戦とかやるときにどうしても前後の動きが入っちゃうから前後の動きしなするっていう前提でこのゲームやるんだったら人もが最強でいいなんかもういいような気がするこの,このゲームは ヒットボックスよりパッドの方が強いあパッドはありえますなぜかっていうとボタンが瞬時に全部手がかかってるんでただそれって結局たまに名前を出すんだけど流星押し流星押しで解決のはずだから工夫の範疇なのかもしれないそのパッドのボタンの有利性は本当は俺も流星押しにしなきゃいけないんだろうけどあおいこうかそう指の,指の腹どうせやつそうそうそうそうあれって要はパッドと同じことだからあれができつつ移動はボタンってなるのがまあ理想なんじゃない少なくともこのこのゲームっていうかそのこのコマンドカプコンゲー特有のコマンドだったらうん結局まあゲーム性によると思うんだけど5はね普通に人も最強だなって感じる、うん、あの今なんかみんながやってる V5 っていうのもなんかかなり良さそうだねあれもかなり良さそうはい。If left and right are pressed simultaneously, it's gonna go neutral. But if up and down are pressed simultaneously, it's gonna let up 
override so that if you're crouching and then you press jump while still crouching, it'll just override the crouch input Allow and go straight into even jump. If they're surrounded by other letters, pretty aggressive. They are much faster accessible, and allow for more precise inputs as when you jerk around a joystick it's a lot easier to hit other directions. Would you play Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown? I'm not gonna play it every random game that you mentioned. Insane. What is up everyone? This is Justin Wong and we got a new toy. A new toy. Um we got the people from Mix Box um sent this to us and um you know Lol. it's pretty fun. I'm gonna um, make a video about it. It's not a sponsored video or anything, it was just one of those things where if you guys don't appreciate pads or joysticks, maybe this might be the way to go. So obviously you have the buttons. Light punch, medium punch, heavy punch, uh, punch times three, light kick, medium kick, heavy kick, kicks times three, and obviously the direction where you have up, left, right, and down. Obviously, if you want to jump, um, let's say, up forward, you just tap those two, right? So, actually, much, like up with the a thumb, lot of times you wanna, I think the hitbox is how better. I press it is I use my ring finger on the left, um, my middle finger on the down, and my index on the right so moving around is pretty see this would be for me this i have an issue because up and down you don't have separate fingers to, like handle that so that's no good it generally is I think. each finger has a direction like i'm pretty sure the hitbox is what you want hi right, what's up everyone this is justin wong i think and, this um, is the control i mean we are here today to um on a hitbox i know it's one of those controllers that's i would say intimidating but i, re I really find it like super Melting fun to use super and no lot. this is not a sponsored ad or anything it's just uh i just yeah. kind of want to spread some love and you know do some content that's different and uh i think hitbox is pretty cool like i used it before in a tournament um just for funs and see what happens and i mean i think it's pretty cool so Let's uh, start with I know too many buttons is intimidating, right? right? So I'll say the first eight buttons on the right also. is all your, you know, your punches. This looks more like punch me and punch, heavy punch, like kick me and kick, heavy kick, punch time three, kick times three. So standard. So the red buttons is kind of what you're focused on. So I was watching some old hitbox uh, practice tutorial videos and I noticed that they were playing like this, right? So you have your right thumb with the buttons and I don't like that. I personally think that's confusing because trying to like use both hands at the same time for like a jump. So let's say if I'm trying to jump like up forward, I would have to use my like ring finger and right my ring finger from the left hand to the right um, hand with the thumb to do a jump forward. I think that's pretty just hard to do and think about. So I usually use my left hand to control all the directions. So right here I use my ring finger to hold to like to the left button the middle buttons the middle finger index finger to the one close to, to the buttons on and my to try it out my to thumb how to right here to jump Has a steeper so if i want to jump forward i just tap this right so if i want to do a flash kick i would just do hold down and tap up and then use a button right here right for example so I would say that's kind of like how I do it. So Why not get a joystick one? it's one of those things. It's pretty fluid. Like I, I probably played for on the hitbox probably like over ten hours or so, and it's pretty fun. I mean, just doing the combos is pretty cool. Drumming it and everything, right? So obviously, there's still gonna be execution errors just because I personally I'm not think it just takes hours I'm, of drilling. I side like you know like think of it as like I side this controller. This is my secondary controller. I would say. But I mean, I would say I'm pretty good still at the combos, even for just like a novice. I played some other people on a hitbox, and I was able to win. 
right? So it's pretty cool. As you can see, I'm doing some of the Karen combos naturally. And you know, for example, like I can do like combos more confidently with Karen on the hitbox, like some specific combos, right? So for example, I could do this shoulder. Normally you will never see me do the shoulder, but what's really good is that if you're already holding down, right? All you have to do is down, you let go, and then tap like the direction button forward or back, depending on the move. So let's say I'm trying to do Hadouken. So Karen's command, command normal. Hold down, tap forward, and press kick, right? And then I'll get the command dash. Pretty easy, because I'm already holding down, right? So I'm already holding this button. So I don't need to do anything different to like, I don't need to like release and press it again, or go neutral like this and press it. You can still do it like that, but holding down into it, it's pretty good. Uneasy face. Because when you hold down and press uh, the next direction right away, it'll count as you're down forward, you know? So obviously you can't tell from a this has down forward because on a joystick you would just do like this, right? Diagonally, but here you just pretty much like kind of like plink into it, I would say. Pretty cool, I would say. So I would say not don't don't be intimidated. It's just one of those things that's uh I'd say pretty fun to use in general. Like I like using the hitbox like a lot. So I mean other than that, like let's uh I get some matches in and online and see what happens if I could win on a hitbox. But yeah, I mean, if you guys were, I'm pretty sure many of you guys were always interested in trying a hitbox or learning it or anything, but just intimidating. But I mean, it's one of those things that's it's pretty cool. I like playing on all types of controls. I can play on pad as well. I can play on a six button pad, like how Snake Eyes uses it, or a PS4. Uh, or pad or xbox controller like how smug and do play and obviously my main is the a joystick for example right so it's one of those things that you know you just don't know what's gonna happen obviously if you are curious and this is obviously a very noobish um hitbox video you could just type in hitbox tutorial on youtube and you'll find more of like how the actual hitbox team uses it like I said, they Dial like to BS use Cammy. two hands for directions. I personally do not. That's Yeah, so... Yeah, I think, I think at this point, I'm pretty... No misdacking a triangle haircut. I'm pretty sure that, like... If I'm feeling cheap, I'll just use a keyboard. Joystick. No. If I'm feeling cheap, I'll just use a keyboard. If I'm feeling like... If I'm feeling like... More, uh... More, uh... Willing to spend money, then I would buy the hitbox. I'm going to pay you. I don't understand anything. Slash. I think those are the only good options. I think. Just use a keyboard. Yeah, keyboard. Does it even fit in my lap? Does that even make sense? I guess it does. Honestly, I might just use a keyboard. I don't know. It's like, the only thing the hitbox would give me would be like... <sighs> it's like Layla Clapton. It would only give me... Larger and nicer buttons, I guess. This thing fits in my lap pretty well. Keyboard. That thing seems unnecessary. Yeah, I think I don't know. I'm actually leaning towards keyboard because it's like I could pick which keys I want to so use. So long as you don't miss keys. Like there are a lot of keys on a keyboard, so I could experiment with different inputs and stuff. Easier to hit a wrong key. I don't think so. Not really. 
I mean, you'd basically have your fingers on the on the relevant keys the whole time. I don't think you'd miss you'd miss it. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think keyboard. I think I'm leaning towards keyboard now. Plus, I don't have to get on some wait list and then spend two hundred and twenty dollars. So. Use FPS controls. Play a fighting game with a mouse. <laughs> Click. Control to crouch. Fair enough. It's definitely the economic solution. Smiley face. It's not only economic, but it's also. X to run. Probably to not punch. disadvantaged in any exactly way. Exactly. Save your money. All right. I'm glad I decided that because I was like trying to figure it out. A is left, S is crouch, D is right, space is jump, and then like some combination of H, J, K, L, or J, K, L, and um, semicolon could be A, B, C, D, or whatever, right? Or there could be some other key, I don't know. Seems like it would work pretty well though. Okay, I've made up my mind. I think it'll work. I'll of course have to see when the game actually comes out, and then I might have to adjust my. I like the number pad for attack buttons, but you do you. Uh, my control or my keyboard doesn't have a numpad. Look at this piece of shit. There's no numpad. Could always get a cheap but responsive keyboard and remove all unnecessary keys. I like one plus space and then numpad for attack buttons. Numpad does make sense, but my keyboard doesn't have a numpad. I would have to buy a mechanical keyboard with a numpad. Haha, cool idea. I didn't mean to get a keyboard without a numpad. I kind of didn't realize it until it showed up. Just by the right half of a fight stick forehead. Could consider a separate numpad mechanical. Save your wrists. Oh, you know what I just realized? My right hand could be L semicolon apostrophe and shift. That actually seems pretty good. Alright, so how many days is it going to be until this game comes out? One, two, three, four, five, six, well how many weeks? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half to ten weeks. That's how long I have to wait. What is all this? That's too long. 74 days, depending on your time zone. Yeah, so like... It was nice to get obsessed and like try to figure out, or like try to learn a bit about the game, try to figure out input and stuff, but it's still really early and I need other things to do. I thought I might play some more Inferno Isle tonight, but, but I kind of just feel like chatting I guess. It's kind of nice to just chat. 
Not that I have anything to say in particular. Oh well. You never use the keyboard. Excuse me. to DKC2 soundtrack or would that be DMCA nightmare? This song slaps. This song kinda lit though. Take back Sunset Sands. I can't because... Uh, the pyramid jump. DK2 OMG. No one's ever done it on NTSC. It's only ever been performed on PAL. So, I'm starting to think it's like pal advantaged. This is Cat Jam. Oh, interesting. Cat music. The Nothing Stream. Cat Jam. Sounds delicious. Oh God. I congratulate you. It's crazy how my brain can fire on all cylinders when I'm gaming. Otherwise I'm like, uh, Bill. I just imagined it. On toast. Does that mean the toast would always land face up or down? It's subliminal.
I don't, but in the trash it goes. Yeah, I'm just tired tonight. I don't know. Had some pretty good energy earlier, but I think I'm, uh... It's not that I'm gonna stop streaming. I'm gonna keep streaming, but... There's truly nothing happening right now. I am really enjoying the nothing steam deep. Flaking about trash. Lol my cat's looking at me funny now. Did you see the bot 2D make? Lol. Rob the robot. No, not really interested either TBH lol. How can you demake a game before it even comes out? I also have Equisphrenia. Everybody get wide people happy in the chat. Everyone has equisphrenia. Did you see the FaZe Clan scam? Old news maybe. No. Big rug pull. Everyone. Watch Philosophy 2?
snow. Hello. E. Hi, you missed the video games. Although I might play Inferno Isle later. There's really nothing going on tonight. Figured. They're trans. I am lol. What can be learned from mistakes? There's nothing going on because I'm not streaming Kappa. I am also trans. Let's watch the social constructs video. A D girl. One of my friends got Skyward Sword HD so I pulled out my old Wii copy and started PL. Eyeing it in call with them cause I never finished it. Lots of people are. They might even be among us. I think my stream is so nothing right now that Maybe, maybe you should do some ranked strive, and then I can ditch this stream. I'm trying to go to bed and not be a Deegan. Fair enough. I'm on a completely fuck sleep schedule. I know I'm gonna be up like I congratulate until you the son. morning. Or later. I just like don't. I was gonna stream, but instead I worked on a song that has 14 times signature changes. I kind of wish I had something creative going on, but I kind of don't. I'm back on my old pretentious bullcrap. Start something creative then forehead. Best Bryomite song. Watch YouTube. How's the game that going? That's a lot of changes. Long song? Or just interesting rhythm? Um. There's no game dev happening. Even ski convoluted rhythm law. This is the most entertaining there is, friend. The song gets more stable as it goes along. I have a song it's challenge for you. A dude. What if you made a song with a fixed time signature that is the largest prime number that you can manage to make a song using? 
This sounds like Killer Instinct music. I might have to play Beetle Adventure Racing for like two to three hours. That might be what we're doing here. Lol. Set your metronome to 0 0.0001 BPS. 29 eighths got it. If you do 29, it should be like decently fast BPM so that you actually get to the end of a measure like regularly. <laughs> Keep in mind every time signature is just a series of twos and threes lol. I guess... That's fair, I guess. For instance, five fourths is either two then three or three then two. This sounds like Ridge Racer. Seven eighths is two two three or two three two or three two two. I guess if you look at it that way my idea isn't so interesting. The challenge is making it long enough that it's recognizable as a measure but not so long that it turns into like a fractal or something. 7919 slash 4. Your whole song is one measure. I bet I could get away with a 17 sixteenths. Good memories staying home sick from school and watching you speedrun and Wind Waker. Yeah, those were, um, those were pretty good times. Stay safe. I'm going to go eat some people and rank there's a shark in the water. One two one two one two three one two one two one two three one two three.
good luck. At hairy toe face be sure to let a couple bleed out slowly. Love that! I guess I have the stream set up. If I'm going in... Good luck on your speed runs. This song is good. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I just... I wanted to get that set up because... I'm, I'm missing the light now. You've got this. Sirens on. I wanted to get that set up because it's something I could do tonight. I think I just like I enjoy streaming and like reacting to whatever. I don't know. I find myself enjoying streaming, but then I turn on my stream and I have nothing going on. <laughs> Variety is good. Do you have WR in this game yet? Um, I'm the champion of Beetle Adventure Racing. I have the bonus circuit world record. The Coventry Cove Time Attack World Record, the Coventry Cove 100 Points World Record, the Mount Mayhem Time Attack World Record, the Mount Mayhem 100 Points World Record, the Inferno Isle Time Attack World Record, the Inferno Isle 100 Points World Record, the Metro Madness Time Attack World Record, the Wicked Woods Time Attack World Record, and the Wicked Woods 100 Points World Record. Great streams lately, BTW. Blue. That's dope. Thanks. I wonder if this Lots stream will someday get Smiley destroyed nice. from matching the audio of like Jay Wong's video. Copyright. Honestly, that's hot for me, lol. Lol, nice. Would be quicker to list the ones you don't have. Uneasy face. Yeah, I don't have either Sunset Sands record, so that's two. I don't have the Metro Madness 100 points record, and. There's a Probably. bonus circuit category where you get all the points. I don't have that either. 
so there's like kind of four records that I don't have. I'm probably going to lose the Coventry Cove Time Attack record soon. At least I, th I would think... I would think... That record is in jeopardy. So that one might drop soon. We'll see though. As for what else to do in Beale Event Racing, I think I can save over one second on Infernal Isle. I think I can save over one second on Wicked Woods 100 points. I think I could improve my Metro 100. And that would actually be a long and, and pretty interesting grind, maybe, if I worked on that. Beyond that, I'm not really sure. Maybe, like, in front of a while, 100 points improvements. How is it in Jeopardy? Uh, Yume is, like, closing it on the record, and it's really close to beating it. This music is good too. I think I just like sitting here chilling and talking more than playing though. At least right now. Like I feel like I'd start playing then the chatter completely dies. I'm not feeling it that much. Like I know I can I can I know I could like if I work on it more, I think I can improve my time. Gaming blows anyway. But I'm kind Variety of okay. social streaming, I think. Gaming largely blows, but some of it's good. And I think I think around October is gonna be like the peak of gaming. <laughs> it's gonna be full gamer mode in October. Let me get all the dates of everything that's happening. It's all right. This is the calm before that game drops. Keep gaming. So I'm pretty sure it's September. Can't th yeah. Wait. All right. So. Sep 30. Melty blood. Type Lumina. Huge. We're definitely having a fighting game renaissance RN. October 8th, Metroid Dread. October 5th, Monkey Ball Port. Excited. Those are the big three. Never been a rough song since. Those will be all that I am playing. I think Melty could be the most addictive. Till bottom two. But I think stream watchers would enjoy the other two more. And the nice thing is it's software so it can't be scalped. Smiley face. First Guilty Gear DLC characters are dropping in the fall. Nice D girl. Drive is cool and has style, but yeah, Melty speaks to me more for some reason.
but yeah. Yeah, I think um, I think for the people who watch my streams. I do like to watch the melty more though. I think most I people. I new Metroid either. Looks good. I think most people would enjoy watching probably Monkey Ball, then Metroid Dread, then Melty Blood. But I think in terms of enjoyment for playing the game, I think Melty yes, Blood's going to be number awesome. one. I'll fly Melty, but I'm holding out for a Monster Man. A Monster Man. Is that a Strive DLC character? Or do you mean, what do you mean? Are you hoping that there will be a Monster Man character in Melty? Oh, you think Dread looks awesome? Yeah, I thought it looked good. And other people say it looks like crap. You know what we could do right now? We could actually just go look at the treehouse play. No, I want a creepy, spooky monster man oh, okay. character in Melty. Okay. I heard they're putting Gaku in. The uh, there was that one character in that stream we watched. He had the birds, like the ravens or whatever. That was a creepy, spooky monster guy. I have no idea if he'll make it in the game, but. His giant, he had like the, I think it was Jump C was the move, I think. Uh, it was like a huge, like, monster attack in front of him. It oh, seemed really, man. that seemed really like, that seemed like some good shit. I don't know, they could, that character actually seemed pretty cool to me, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going straight into Seal when the game drops. Pretty sure. I did look up like tier lists and like top player opinions about the actress again characters, and I was curious yeah, what how Seal works. I could definitely see him being in Lumina. Been a double pro. I think out of the three tournaments I watched, like they, I think they put Seal as like midish, kind of midish, not very, not super amazing. But who knows what the new game's gonna be like? But um, they're basically saying that she has like not as good of pressure, but she's got zoning tools. But she's not like a zo she's like a mixed character. That she does she doesn't have like polarizing matchups, but she just doesn't have the best offense, and she's got better zoning tools than most offensive characters. Something like that. But they said that she wasn't that great overall. But out of the top eights I watched, she did get like third at one of the tournaments, so that was cool. I'm probably gonna play Ark, but maybe I'll try a mate if they're weird enough. Yeah, one of the maids interests me. Not the... The, the more shy, passive one. Uh, Hisui. The other one seems more... The other one has the broom. Hisui has, like, lady. the table. Yeah, it's the one that was the mech. I don't know if they'll do that next stuff in this game. It's kind of funny. But... What's gonna be cool though is I'm pretty sure they're gonna, like maybe in a week or something, they'll drop the seal like introduction video, which will show a bunch of really cool combos and shit. And then it'll they'll probably start revealing more characters also, There's and do more videos. Some new players playing the latest Melty, preparing for the new one. If you want to test the waters. Plus, it's free. It's free for Let me your ear. Yeah, I don't know. I I mean, like, I kind of said I wasn't gonna play actress again as preparation. But I'll like, amaze you with my combos. <laughs> if I get bored enough, maybe it's a possibility that I would play the old one a little bit and get used to the keyboard controls or something, but I don't know. I was thinking about just jumping in fresh. Aw shucks, you are making me blush. <laughs> Be right back.
These bits are just cobbled together. Let me just cobble together a response. OMG best Rob song so hard drunk. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch the Treehouse Metroid Dread because everyone thinks the game is trash and I actually thought it looks pretty good. This song's really fire too. How dog you make the same joke I did? Were you stalking me? Okay. Do they? I'm hyped for it. Lol. This song is awesome. The people making fun of Metroid are being jerks, but there's a kernel of truth to what they're saying. Alright, let's uh... This song is actually really good. I hope the new game has a bunch of sick tracks. Alright, here we go. What are they saying? Okay, there's, there's, okay, there's, there's two, let me, before this even begins, let me explain three aspects to this game that in interest me. Alright, one. Now, these are just three details I noticed that I think are really cool. The first detail is, you got 360 degree aiming, so you can aim at any arbitrary angle, Right? It's actually using the full joystick, right? So I think that's cool. Second thing I like is the screen transitions are like fucking instantaneous. So it's just really fluid. And then the third thing that I like is in addition to the screen transition fluidity, there's also this sort of like, there's some movement you can do that's really fluid. So it just looks like a super fluid game with like, I don't know. So let's just watch it. Thanks Sakamoto-san. Hello everyone, welcome to Nintendo Treehouse Live. I am super excited about this next segment where we're going to delve into an early work in progress version of Metroid Dread. Uh, show some Look at that guy's zipper. In action, and also, I think, get to a little bit of the uh, way the game develops this uh, suspense and tension that um, gives the game its title. So I'm joined by Audrey and Teresa from Nintendo Treehouse, and Teresa's going to take us into the depths of Planet ZDR. Yeah, all right. So let's uh, take a deep dive into uh the very beginning of the game um okay so first impression like it may maybe it doesn't look great is the first um, thing you see game. right you might be like okay this uh, looks whatever but just keep Pause. keep looking spent a little few missiles so i'm gonna use this uh interactive here to replenish um but one of the things He's i want to show here mana. is uh, free aim which for those that have played uh metroid samus returns this has made a comeback um, you can see a lot of the, the area around as you use it. Um, also has this little tracking system that um, when it's uh, targeting an enemy, it'll make that sound. 
definitely want to take a moment to say that as Nate yeah i think it's that slide kick that i thought was appealing this is the first new 2d metroid game in 19 years that's almost two decades i don't know if you did the math but uh that's a lot of years we've been waiting for this for a long time so we're we're really excited to be finally showing this to everyone Here's another returning move from Metroid Samus Returns. Which I think is the part of the clowning counter. has caused 99% of 2.5D platformers look like garbage. Yeah, I agree with um, you. And then a new one is, or the development of the melee counter. Whoop. You know, let that guy move a little bit back. <laughs> I don't think it looks Come bad. Back. But it, it's a hard dash. style to like really appeal to everyone. It doesn't break right, that time. dash attack, right? Not only is there the dash slide, but there's the dash attack. An enemy. Yeah, plus the 360 really degree well aiming, plus the instant screen transitions. Returns. So like you mentioned, just feels fluid. And uh, the melee counter in that game, and here we have the running, the running free aim, which gives you even more. Right, so like you can kind of see how it looks. Instead of having to stand, like it could be fun to play. Gamers care too much about graphics. Go this looks him, like which, it has uh, a coherent really, style. Really uh, has great movement. I kind of hate the zoom in. Yeah, I I love that. Will you like, speedrun this? Moves so <laughs> the parallax no. looks nice. No guarantees. I can't ever promise that I'm going to speedrun something. Uh, Never. Able to control Samus in a really long time. Absolutely, and you've opened up the map. No promises. Something that uh, Metroid fans know to love and adore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the map system is just as important in this game as ever, and it, it really shows you uh, the classic Metroid. Like, I can see myself being addicted. I'm gonna get 100% math. I'm gonna like move it around. This seems like kind of fun. Aren't able to access yet. You try and find another way through. Find a new ability. Push your way I need ice water. Fill in the map. Lather and repeat. So that's back and better than ever in my opinion. Yeah, and this area here is blinking white because there is a something here that I haven't discovered yet. Um, so I could use markers to kind of pinpoint it just in case I don't have an ability um, and I have to backtrack here once I'm able to explore it. Um, yeah, don't sleep on those markers. Those can be really yes. important in this labyrinthine world. <laughs> sure. Um, but this looks curious. It is really uh, a, a part of the charm of Metroid, though, having this... Uh, renewed uh, sense of purpose in your backtracking paired with pushing forward. Yeah, and one, another thing I want to pinpoint is the amount of work the dev team put in in Samus' animation. I really do wonder if this stream's gonna get fucking devastated walls when she can't move from copyright. Like holding onto the ledge. It's mm -hmm. just yeah, so looking around. Yeah, you'll notice little touches everywhere, so keep an eye out for them. Mm -hmm. oh. That seamless transition to these sort of uh, story scenes is great. Little moments like this when you're in uh, helmet view for a moment really add to the isolation uh, and the tone Go all in then. Yeah, no, this game is a, a sequel to uh, Metroid. Yeah, game, but you can see that I'm not recording this. It's a little bit different than that, so uh, that'll be a story Place element. Studio. We'll find out what happened uh, when they play the game. We don't want to spoil too much. So these are the Emmy that Sakamoto-san was talking about, and none of Samus's weapons seem to do anything against them. <laughs> so, run. <laughs> yep, oh, that slide move is so cool. She looks so cool when she's yeah. sliding. <laughs> yep, it is, nope, okay. Oh no, just, just no. Yeah. <laughs> I like the graphics on the uh, shots also. Work either. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, so scary. Uh, about this being called Dread. I think the most egregious thing I'm seeing is like, they're very relentless. Oh my! Oh, okay. oh wow. The switch is like poor anti-aliasing. Did a little reach for me there. <laughs> <laughs> that was new. Oh. Yeah. That one's clearly not well. My cat spilled my water on my surge protector. Yeah. Too spooky. Um, <laughs> That's scary. I'm glad that it's a bit damaged and can't completely reach to me, but we're gonna have to find a different way to tackle that enemy. You know, this thing is a uh, central unit which uh, controls various areas of the planet. Um, it's sort of a biomechanical computer Did you kind feel of a protected? to uh, maybe similar units in previous Metroid games. And from this unit, uh, Samus can power up, uh, get a temporary power up uh, for her um, arm cannon and turn it into the Omega cannon. Yeah, so yeah, 
in typical 2D Metroid fashion, we've always seen the camera like panned around here. And now with the uh, Omega Cannon ability, there's this dynamic camera that you get to see over Samus's shoulder, which is so Yes, so actually, cool. absolutely nothing yeah, bad little happened. Little additions like that really flesh out the classic 2D gameplay without it feeling uh, like it strays too far from what we loved about it. Mm -hmm. Nice. This makes it seem really powerful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Let's see Special. if this works against our uh, our Emmy friend here. It takes a little while to charge up, so it does. Don't, don't oh. wait too long. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, I wanted to make sure I had it line <laughs> yep. of sight. I hope you enjoyed that. That's your <laughs> one shot at it. <laughs> yeah. So it was so powerful that uh, in order to take that Emmy down, um, our we lose the ability of the Omega Cannon, and it goes back to a regular arm cannon. It was worth it, though. We can breathe mm -hmm. easy now. It was for a moment. <laughs> I also want to point out, while you're scrolling your way through all of these uh, different halls, that there are so many different ways to play this game. Uh, like, Teresa is amazing with a missile. She's the queen of the missiles, <laughs> but you can also just uh, shoot your regular arm cannon. Uh, you can try and avoid enemies altogether, try and hit them all. Uh, really, it's up to you what kind of Samus you want to be. Yeah, and as as uh, Audrey pointed out to earlier that you could use free aim to do more like line of sight shooting, but you could also just free aim shoot while you're moving as well. because you need to shoot a lot of different things in this game. So many different <laughs> yeah. things. I want to see a pixelated door, and now I'm filled with dread. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a new entryway. Um, yep, these are the entries to the various zones that the Emmy are patrolling. And uh, once you're in there, you need to be on the lookout for those. Yeah, you can hear in the background, the music is so atmospheric. It really puts <laughs> you on pins and needles just it listening is to it. Very, I, I am completely on edge because yeah. it's like really <laughs> eerie. Can't seem to climb these yet. Not yet. Yeah, just the detail in the backgrounds of things is great. Oh, and there he is. There it is. Oh, especially during moments like this, you can Gotta really walk appreciate into the vignette how room. cool it is to have an HD uh, 2D Metroid game. <laughs> we we tried that already, Sam. <laughs> oh. It's not gonna work. Hey, it was worth a shot. <laughs> Just one. try again. Maybe we'll work on this one. Now run. <laughs> so luckily, this Emmy can go through tight spaces. So I have an advantage <laughs> here. Somehow, Emmy doesn't seem oh. worried. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, it's fast. Oh, you're following mm -hmm. me. Okay, you gotta, you gotta get away from that. That's my recommendation. Yeah, when they go into this uh, <laughs> patrol mode and turn red, um, the door locks until they sort of lose track of you. It's still trying to get at her. <laughs> oh, yeah, still looking around, but. Ooh try find another way to get to me yeah also i don't know if it's my heart throbbing through my hands or <laughs> the controller but it's, is this yeah, a new game it's pretty nerve-wracking when facing this is the new it's metroid coming out on october yeah, he makes it seem like she's calm cool collected and badass i like october to that she's 8th. actually as nervous as i am when i play october it 8th. i don't think it's true do you want to point out like also the backgrounds like the amount of detail that the developer the development team has put into like okay, not just Betty, the bye. enemies in the forefront but also in the background good night i don't know if you guys can tell the shimmering thing in there out oh, there it's moving mm -hmm. it's okay that, that girl. Well. yeah well bye. probably point, note that for the future uh, yeah some of those details kind of tell the story as effectively as you know uh, a voiceover or anything yeah if you want to be a bounty hunter you have to pay attention to details mm -hmm. And watch out for gooey enemies. Yeah, so night D girl. I would like to collect I collect. I would like to buy all three like of these the, games, the but I'm I'm pretty the sure the that you just know something went down type there. Lumina is gonna be the one that I So uh the thing about Metroid enemies too is like that enjoy some of them, them have most. patterns and, and you can counter them. Um and others don't like this one, so I'm just gonna <laughs> just blast them. <laughs> oh. 
move him out of the way so I can use it. Um, and this room is a communication room with Adam, who happens to be um, Samus's uh, ship's PC or computer. Uh, we're going to skip this part here just because we don't want to spoil any of the lore. But Dan, if you could summarize for the folks at home. Yeah, so as Samus is exploring, uh, she uploads data to Adam, their ship's AI, and Adam kind of gives little analysis, um, just, just really hints though, not necessarily uh, telling you where to go or anything like that. It's still a I haven't actually really like, like there's some interesting lore in there and uh, watched this since you know, it some, aired and I didn't watch it too closely the first time. Use. And um, in that one, Adam was basically Hopefully summarizing it's not gonna be too the, uh, easy like most the Metroid venues. The limits that they have of patrolling Looks good so far. And um, what don't people like? People just don't like 2.5D. See too much like the thing. graphics. Kelsey, you can see T doing a great job of just shooting at the environment, looking for secrets, looking for a way forward, because it's not always going to be obvious. You really have to, it's like a puzzle. Mm -hmm. It's not just action, it's not just exploration. There's also a lot of puzzle elements here, trying to find the way forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's really cool too how Metroid Dread does this really sweet balance of, you know, the moments where you're allowed to have like some quiet to, uh, solve the puzzles, and then it's interspersed with this really heavy, intense action. Yeah. So here's nope. the, uh, oh. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> it's probably nope. going to be too easy. Uh, um, that was I preferred uh, the, old the look ME, anyways. as Dan had mentioned, they have kind of three modes. One is the surveillance, the other is, uh, which is uh, marked with blue. They're just scanning the area. Um, I think it is hard to make the 2.5 um, D art style like and look. Then when it has Samus on, I, uh, I like I think it's hard to make it look right. like really good. Chase Willow. Okay. Yeah. So yellow is it's heard it's heard a noise or sense the vibration and it's gonna go investigate that. Oh. Oh. Oh gosh. Yeah. No. And. <laughs> No. Oh. oh. So the Emmy uh, are pretty re relentless and ruthless. Uh, it is sort of like a permadeath, which is very unusual um, for you know, enemies with uh, in the Metroid series. But luckily, it's not very. It's the game's pretty forgiving. Uh, it allows you to respawn at an area that you were in recently, so we're able to just go back and counter that. Again, yeah, as T said, Insta Kill is new to the series, but uh, which art style would you have preferred, Narcy? Not sure if this lady is terrible or just pretending. Without being quite so punishing with the respawning, um, to play the whole game to get back to where you are, so it's a really wonderful balance. Yeah, and when the Emmy are in patrol mode, which is that uh right now it's in pursuit I mean I think something that would help an art style like this would be really fucking amazing anti-aliasing so which we don't get that's something that makes it honestly like aliasing in games has been something that's bothered me since I was like really young and didn't even know what it was like I didn't know what the word aliasing was, but I knew that it bothered me when I looked at it. And Nintendo games are pretty aliased. And they still are in the year 2021. Just looks like the artist got lazy emo. I'm feeling brave. Oh, But I think there's something to be said for like... Kind of more stylized or more deliberate. Like, oh no. It's not necessarily using 2D sprites. Like, for example, Guilty Gear Strive does 3D models with cell shading and, like, controlled normals. Like, surface normals. To control the cell shading really well. And it's kind of a nice art style. It doesn't have to be flat, though. I don't really know, like, what's the best style. I think this. I think it kind of. I think this kind of works. It's just. I saw it getting compared to that old. I think it was an Xbox 360 game called Shadow Complex. That was like. Grant me more 
visibility. A good example of like an older 2.5D game that like it just looks like a 2.5D. Like Bloodstained Ritual of the Night was 2.5D. Yeah, this is like right sterile. Yeah, I think the use of color. I don't know. Yet it's weird. Nintendo is behind on post processing. Back to Audrey's point about you know the game is about exploration and action and so this area. Of yeah, it made me think of Shadow of Complex too. Upgrade allowed me to see more about the map, but you can see that there's still a lot of obscurity here, and so you need to. Sterile is a good word for it. Yes. In order to uncover more of the area, and also um, any secrets involved. So. It's also worth noting that Think of Hollow Knight compared to this. It's full of really juicy lore. So, uh, whether you're a new or returning Metroid fan, uh, if you've never played a Metroid game before, it really gets you. At the same time, though, like wait. Okay, this shot I think looks pretty good. Like, why does it look good? Like, I think the black. Representing the walls, so then like you kind of got like these soft, these soft gray colors. Like looks kind of linear. I think this it's shot just because it's early game footage. This game is going to be really easy and stale. It does look better here. Yeah, like this shot looks I think good it to looks me. Fine. If you've never played a Metro game before, it really gets you up to speed with anything you need to know to enjoy the story. And if you are a longtime Metroid fan. You have a lot to look forward to. Uh, as Sakamoto-san said, this concludes the story arc between Samus and the Metroids. So uh, we've been waiting a long time for this, and it delivers. It's that little enemy that uh, Teresa just blew up. It's kind of like an item pinata. It gives you <laughs> a lot of <laughs> missiles. Yeah, defeating enemies is a, definitely oh. a boon because oh, um, <laughs> it grants you replenishment for e for energy and also um, missiles. So definitely want to defeat enemies for that. Yeah. I just didn't expect the Emmy to be right on top of me when I <laughs> destroy the Autools. That little beeping sound, just I hear oh, it yeah. in my nightmares now. <laughs> they always come up with... Oh, it's oh, it's yeah. persistent. Very convenient. I, Another little interesting detail about this game is normally in Metroid games, you start at the surface of the planet and you work your way deeper. But in this game, you actually start deep within the planet and try and work your way to the surface. And so that that yearning towards ascension really adds to the tone of this game as well. I think it is fair to describe this style as sterile, though. It's kind of sterile. <laughs> love that you don't have to necessarily wait for an enemy to attack in order to counter in this game. If, if you keep an eye out, you can actually sometimes mm -hmm. counter before they they start their attack. Here's a throwback, so I have to use the missile in order to... I guess the combination of sterile environments, or like, sterile, whatever that means, right? I'm curious what other regions look like, if there's some. Like Super Metroid had a jungle. I got it. Yeah. That's the other thing about the, uh, That actually I mean, reminds me Nintendo will have a difficult game. Use that on an enemy, you will get It reminds me of Like I felt like personally I felt that Metroid Prime Top 1 had like really areas. deliberate might just be the themed areas. areas. And Metroid Prime Samus 2 felt like When I was playing Metroid Prime 2, it felt like it was all kind of blurring together. Metro Prime 1 kind of had distinct areas, it felt like. You weren't able to before. I mean, maybe they're cliche. Like, you got the fire area and the snow area, etc. This place looks kind of cool. Cool statues and architecture that really piqued your curiosity about the lore of this world. Will it be a hard game? I don't know. I mean, it probably won't be that hard. But I mean, you can make your own challenge, like if you're speedrunning it or doing some kind of like low percent. Right? Like, Metroid Prime Hunters is underrated. It's plausible that like something like low percent would be challenging.
But yeah, like that the dash attack and the instant screen transitions just seems like kind of a nice com combination. The multiplayer was really fun too. Once you you really get to know these abilities and uh, become adept at them, you you start to feel like Samus. <laughs> at first, you're like. Maybe not quite there, but once you get the hang of it, you, you really start to feel like a badass bounty hunter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just so smooth. It's like she's parkouring through this. <laughs> like, I think this area looks pretty good. Wait, I think we're looping back around. Yeah, we were here earlier, I think. <laughs> Wait. Yes. No. Now we can't go through this area because Actually, I don't know. So we're not able to slide. But we are able to access this door that we weren't to before. Ah, and here's another Emmy door. Um, but in order to yeah, not it's the same area. spoil any more surprises here, we're going to leave this as a cliffhanger and uh, end our segment here. All right. Well, that's all we yeah, good point. In Prime 2, the regions felt more blurred than separated by elemental types, ice, fire, grass, etc. Right, like when I first played it, I found the separate areas being more distinctive in Metroid Prime 1 to be like appealing to me. And I got f like, I got to the final boss in Metroid Prime 1. I didn't even get that far into Metroid Prime 2. I guess I just like wasn't that crazy about the series. I don't think I ever beat the final boss in Metroid Prime 1. Just traverse directly from uh, horizontal to vertical there. And this uh, creature over here is uh, blocking my pathway and it's getting a little bit more jittery as I get closer to it. That's really and then Metroid Prime 3 felt worse than Metroid Prime 2. I didn't play much of that either. I did buy it though. Metroid in 19 years, so this is very, very exciting for for Metroid fans. Yeah, I liked how you countered that worm and shot it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so each enemy has like their patterns to learn, so you definitely mm -hmm. want to watch and see how you can counter them, or if you need to no. tackle them in a different way. Oh no. Uh oh. So this is Corpius. Uh, he is one of the bosses that you'll encounter in Metroid Dread. Uh, we happen to see him uh, very briefly in the first segment. It was it was the I like very SNES Metroid best? Uh, creature that was after that egg. Mm -hmm. No longer lurking. No. Yeah, no. Yeah. He's blurping. <laughs> <laughs> He's He's, like, he just shot that projectile <laughs> that he shot out of his mouth and got some missiles. So. Mm -hmm. Having good aim is, is in your favor here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's very key to learn the boss's patterns, but also find where to hurt him. And it looks like his face is the weak spot right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that tail is pretty deadly, so you want to keep your distance. Mm -hmm. And of course, as always, you want to keep an eye on your missile count. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so since my missile count's running low, I'm going to use Charge Beam, which is also effective. And now he turned invisible. Yeah, well, Great. What he needed was to be invisible. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. That makes it a <laughs> little bit harder to yeah. find <laughs> its face, but I can try. Otherwise... I do think this will be worth playing though. Point. Yeah, Prime was good, but I always preferred the 2D side-scroller. Shoot it. It's a good maxim for video games in general. Got this. <laughs> and now it's throwing a tantrum, mm -hmm. so it broke some of the environment. I see some blue magnetic magnetic strips there. Which I could probably use to my advantage. Oh. And now it reared its ugly head and turned to its backside, which is probably its best side. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
I also both sides are for dead. something. I don't. Ow! Oh, no. Okay. No. Mm. All right. Oh, nice, nice slide. So we're turning here to a cinematic, but I am effectively throwing missiles at uh, Corpius's face here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's another one of those really dynamic camera angles there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, jumping right right into a boss fight is a Why really are you good back? way to show. Uh, okay, yep, so those magnetic strips were very handy there. Yep, you have to use <laughs> all of your abilities uh, if you're going to be... Ow. Oops. Okay. No. And that poison gas doesn't look too healthy. I want to see if there's anything else for a uh, super monkey ball. I don't recognize some of these maps. Maybe there are new. Maybe there are new maps in this. I recognize that. I recognize that. I recognize that. I recognize I'm that. I recognize this. That one looks new. Is that new? This is old. 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 That was Master 3. Is that new? What is that? This is a nice trailer. I haven't seen this before. This looks good. Yeah, this might actually be better than I thought. Because, like, I thought it was just a port with no new levels, but. They show five monkeys there too, instead of four. Wait, I need to like slow mo this shit. I think there might actually be new levels. Wait. Okay, this is um, Expert Extra One. Looks awesome, -y. In Super this is Expert Extra 1 in Super Monkey Ball 1. This looks new. What the fuck is that? That's new. That has to be new. Okay. Wait, it could be a Monkey Ball D DX stage, though. Because I don't actually know the Super Monkey Ball DX levels. Cause they added a few for the Xbox version of the game. So this level might be lifted from there. But to it's new to me. And because it's new to me, it'll be a new experience. Okay, this is... This is like advanced something in Super Monkey Ball 1. Oh, what the fuck? My computer. Holy shit. What the fuck? What the hell was that? That was really weird. Okay, whatever. This is the same level that they just showed. This level looks new to me, I don't recognize it. This could potentially be a Super Monkey Ball DX level. Or it could be something new. This is a level from Super Monkey Ball 2. This is a level from Super Monkey Ball 2. This is a level from Super Monkey Ball 2. Pretty sure. Uh, don't know if I recognize this. It's kind of hard to tell though. Don't I can't see anything. This doesn't tell me anything. This is the bottom of the spiral, the giant spiral for Super Monkey Ball 2, I believe. This is a level in Super Monkey Ball 1. Yeah. 
This is a master level in Super Monkey Ball 1. Yeah. I don't recognize this. This might be new, or it might be a Super Monkey Ball DX level. It could also be a Super Monkey Ball 2 level that I forgot about, but... I don't think it is. This is Expert 1 in Super Monkey Ball 1. That's Advanced 1 in Super Monkey Ball 1. Dr. Bad Boon returns. And we also see that other monkey... Or we see the other monkeys. Like there's Yan Yan, right? And I don't know what that bottom... I don't know what that bottom right one is. So that's interesting. Like what is that? I believe this is a level in Super Monkey Ball 2. Yeah, it is. This is also a Super Monkey Ball 2 level. Hope they washed their monkey balls this time. This is advanced or this is expert 2 in Super Monkey Ball 1. Can they Th make him stand out too, Ink? This is a Super Monkey Ball 2 level. This looks like Expert 4, maybe, in Super Monkey Ball 1. Or is it 3? I can't remember. This is a Super Monkey Ball 2 level. I don't recognize this one. This looks new to me. This is a Super Monkey Ball 2 level. Wait, is it? I think it is. It's either 1 or 2. I forgot which game it's from. I think it's... I don't know. No, it's Super Monkey Ball 2. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's Super Monkey Ball 2. Wait, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Super Monkey Ball 2. This is Super Monkey Ball 1 Master. Like Master 6 or something. Super Monkey Ball 2 Expert Stage. This is that spiral we saw like three times from Super Monkey Ball 2. This is a Super Monkey Ball 2 level. This is a Super Monkey Ball 1 level called Master 3. This is a Super Monkey Ball 2 level. I don't know what this is. This looks new to me. I don't know what this level is. This is a Super Monkey Ball 2 level. Yeah. Super Monkey Ball 2. SM64 LVL LOL I 
I guess there's six monkeys now. I think I didn't give this game enough credit the first time. I think it uh I think it's actually gonna be really Q fun. I'm assuming you can play with a GameCube controller and then it's gonna feel exactly like it did on the GameCube. <laughs> like that would be great. I'll buy that, I'll buy Metroid Dread, and I'll buy Type Lumina. And October is gonna be gaming. Yeah, looks fun. The song is sick though, listen to this song. I'm gonna loop this song for a little bit. I don't know like what character's theme this is. Wait, I'm gonna look at the comments to this. It's the... I think it's... I don't know. Something with the mech cat made the character, I think. Right. It's a great theme, though. I think that's what it is. I don't know what this is. This stream doesn't get copyright blasted. Was fun talking about melty blood earlier and inputs and stuff.
the worst is when they block your video. The older Melty looks like a fan game. It's like, no bitch, that was my video. The old game doesn't have high residential sprites. So it looks a little low quality somehow. Type Lumina is a huge step up in that sense. It looks cheap. I might do the bar session. Yeah exactly you put all the work in and they put it in the trash so cringe. You guys keep saying toast and I jumped cause my old name was Toasty Ghost Law. It's just old. There's been worse. One player. Single race. Time attack. Good choice. Nice wheel. Welcome to Inferno Isle. Get ready. Uh -huh. This game is childhood memories for me. Good luck, Narcy. I'll start putting my Kajam on Bagels. Good luck. Maybe I just need the right mix of, uh... The right mix of, like, socializing and gaming. Because I was enjoying socializing earlier, and... It made me reluctant to just go into a grind. But it... It's healthier if I break it up a little bit anyway, because non-stop playing does wear you out. Yeah, I only play online games now because I like socialization helps a lot. I like offline single player games. Crusader Kings 2 asterisk. I used to like them a lot, but newer games just have been hit or miss lately. Hopefully something grabs my attention.
don't actually want to ask if anyone knows where the super monkey ball things are from. So where was that? I think I closed the tab. Alright, here we go. I reactivated Twitter again, so I can just do it there. Uh, Speedruns. I don't know, we'll see what happens with Monkey Ball. I just reactivated Twitter too, still haven't used it much except to talk to someone from Kuro Kuro Benito Band about SNES music. I think I will be at the edge of my seat. ZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZ
landscape still looks the same though lol. are the best demo I can't get away from them it seems welcome to inferno isle get ready i like to believe that new games can be better than old games and that it can always improve and become more awesome i agree ps1 and n64 Every time the choir part of this song plays, I think of the Mr. Bean theme song lol. I agree VR games are really awesome MO I am just a leak go addict LMAO Add sim to that now I guess
decent run. Good warm up, smiley face. Yeah. In the zone. With insane landing last lap was WR pace still. Welcome to Inferno Isle. Ready? I found out how to avoid that, but I still fuck it up.
good luck. Welcome to Inferno Isle. Wasn't far enough Get right. Ready. Left. Welcome to Inferno Isle.
I don't know if I'm actually feeling this right now. I did get that decent run. I actually don't know what I want. You should play Zelda. No, no, no. Fair enough. Yeah, one run was on fire. I wouldn't say it was on fire, but it was like good. I don't know, it's weird. It's like. It's this weird thing right now where like. I kind of feel tired. Yet, I know that I'm not going to sleep right now, and I kind of feel hungry, but I feel like I had a pretty good amount of calories not that, not that long ago. I guess it has been a 5 hour stream though, I think maybe 5 hours is around my limit before it starts to feel like just slightly... Oh, new track. What did you eat? I just had a good meal. But, uh... but I think five hours might be around my limit. While I'm feeling the same, I just ate some strongly. I don't know. Plus, I think it'd be kind of nice to stand I'm up. I'm about to have a shower and go on with the day lol. Yeah, I feel you like... should stop streaming if you feel it. Can't sleep, I don't know why. Yeah, I, there's no way I can actually fall asleep right now. my sleep schedule. But I think because it's been five hours, it's like... Like, that's a lot of time to be sitting. I want to stand up, I want to move around. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna end this here. Thanks for watching. You should do some exercises, Narcy. CYA. Well, good stream.